Hello ladies and gents, welcome in, welcome back. What up Saf, what up Tim, what up Checo, Nitro, Fearwolf, Scott, James. Good evening, good evening. How are we doing? Hope you guys are ready for some more Lotus career mode tonight. It's been a little while. Let's bring back spaghetti. Good evening, Torpedo. Good evening, ladies and gents. Check out to answer your question on YouTube as well. Um, I don't have a thumbnail for today. Otherwise, I would put a thumbnail. We uh, we don't have one for the uh, for the mine team. Good evening, Stephen. Welcome in. We've got a few uh, liveries launched today, haven't we? I haven't seen the the state car. You guys are saying the Salva, but I did see the Williams. Oh, stakes right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll check it out after. Welcome in, ladies and gents. It is a Lotus time. It is spaghetti and pasta. I didn't have spaghetti this time for dinner, so hopefully that's not going to be a bad omen. I think we are good. I think we are good. Then that's fine to me. All cameras working. Welcome in, ladies and gents. Spaghetti, pasta, and steak. Is this a cooking show? It might be. It might be. Maybe I should be sponsored by steak for this uh, for this episode. Alrighty, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta make sure I uh, turn the music down a little bit when we uh, jump into it. But welcome in, ladies and gents. How are we doing? We're back on a Monday, which is slightly bizarre. I'm not really uh, live on Monday much these days. Four-player career was obviously Tuesday. 
um, which at the moment is taking a a, a week break, I, I believe. Um, yeah, so looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're about halfway through our Lotus season, so I'm going to double check um, on, on the situation. I've just loaded up uh, the, the my team already, so we'll switch screens in a second, have a look where we are in the championships, um, and yeah, what, what, uh, what races we've got coming up. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. And, and also, I, I, I remember the car is like really quick. Um, I want to see the, the performance of it too. Because I think we're, I think we're getting it to a stage in this career mode, guys, where the guy, where the car looks really quick on paper, but it's like impossible to manage with like tire temps and brake temps and everything. Uh, get sponsored by steak and said that's a significantly better thing to put with some pasta. Pasta and steak is pretty good, I can't lie. It's pretty good. So welcome in, Rob. Hope you're doing well, mate. Welcome in, guys. We're back. Um, thoughts on the steak car? Have you, have you guys have you guys seen it then? I, why do I keep calling it steak car? Just because Checo said that. It's a Salba, isn't it? Salba? Is that what we're calling them? It's Salba. Let me have a look at this. Uh, it's got to be like trending or something, right? Where is it? I'll share my screen if we can, uh, we can find a picture of it. Where is it? Uh, yeah, I see the Williams. I quite like the Williams, actually. The livery looks nice. I think it's like a minor improvement on last year. Last year's one was nice anyway. I've always liked Williams liveries. Or well, certainly the recent ones. Um... Uh, GB, when your face camera is off at the start of the stream, do you look at the camera when talking? Um, yeah, I think I do out of habit. I um, maybe not as much. I mean, it's different because I'm I'm setting up like the starts the start screen is there for a reason because I'm normally like I've got the mic muted and I'm kind of sorting stuff in the rig. So sometimes I've even I'm even like running to the bathroom or sorting my water or something. Like it's it's kind of random. Um, I had a few more minutes today, so. Yeah, if I'm sat in the rig and I'm, and I'm not setting things up, then maybe, maybe I do out of, out of uh, habit. I don't even notice, to be fair. Um, there's lots of foreplay at the moment. I haven't re revealed it on the Sky Sports stream. Right? Yeah, right, okay. Okay, so Checo saying it looks sick was was uh, was debating. Or has it been leaked? Oh yeah, these things are always leaked, aren't they? Oh, it's quite sad when the deliveries are leaked. Just let us see them in real time and be excited. Aston livery reveal is um, what day are we are now. Uh, it's a week. It's a week today. It's a week today. Next week. That should be fun. Um, but yeah, guys, welcome in. Uh, we're back. We're doing. Uh, we're doing my team, like I said. Um, I am going to jump into the uh, the practice shortly. Let me know the music really loud. The music really loud. Right. That should be all right. That should be all right. Um, I don't know if Laura's here, but I, the first thing I saw with my OBS on was a sub dropped like an hour before I went live. So I was like, oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> that was random. I don't know whether it's an also one or not, but I'm pretty sure you have to share it. The random one. Uh, Julia Smith, hello. Welcome in on Kick. I see you there. How are you doing, Julia? Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I need to set up. Um, I need to. I need to. I need to set up some notifications for like all different platforms. That'd be sick. Not a massive fan of the color scheme. Yeah, I'll have a look at it after the uh, after the reveal. I wasn't aware it was uh, on at this exact same time. How long? It was it like an hour long stream or something. Because some teams like to do extravagant reveals, others like to drag it out. Or others like to just do it quickly, I mean like halves. Um, let me search it on YouTube. Steak F1 team. Steak Sal- yeah, we're calling it Salba. Oh, it's literally being revealed right now. Can I? Oh, where's my? Oh, it's on. It's on kick. Of course it is. Of course it's on kick. 
Ah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's getting revealed right now. I want to see this bad boy. Let's have a quick look, chat. Here it is, 69,000 viewers. Oh, that's a perfect number. Of course it's 69. Wait, oh my God, it's green. Bruh, it's green. Chat, hang on. Let me, let me, let me share my screen real quick. Bro, this is nuts. It's green. Uh, theater mode. Oh, you guys can see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, let me... Let me share this. Can you guys see? Look, this is the this is the new car. This is, um... Get rid of these cookies. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet the music real quick. And then we'll... Turn the thumbs sound up? on here. Yeah. Thumbs up? Big thumbs up? Yeah, very fresh in colorway, so... Fantastic. Well, Green and black. This new area has officially Thoughts? begun. So what are the objectives... I mean... With this new car? I like it. There's only well, we one green car on the grid, targets. of course. We want to improve. You know, we want to deliver a better performance on track. But I think together with our partners, a stake F1 team, we want also to elevate the F1, you know, the experience in F1 of our fans. Imagine Valtteri just like, looks like a so shit box, isn't it? So target both on the sporting side, but also on the other areas. Oh, bro, this chat we is... To deliver a better this, uh, this I think we have stream chat is absolute ass. And then oh we God. want to establish a stake F1 team is a real Should see it coming with all the, bla uh, the black on the track. Into the F1 community. Yeah, there's, um, Joe, there's even, there's even less paint, isn't there, these days? How do you they think this new car and new team identity is going to propel you to new heights? I think Extra every year you have saving. to build a new relationship with your machinery and uh, you have to adapt a little bit, finding your confidence with... Listen to Joe reminds me, chat. We haven't done lobbies with him in a while, have we? Me, think should should get him back on the game, the get Hayden to Barcelona for the TV get day, him. How I feel, get the first taste of it, and then barring is where we're going to do all the... Little details of hey, the setup that's, work that's a cool, so guys, that's, that's a cool flex that we've season. got. Joe well, Guan Yu joined our community event. He literally car, raced with us at Abu Dhabi. That was such a sick that, race. Now that you lay your eyes I think on Ben it, was in that as well. How inspired are you to help this team take the step forward? It's always really inspiring to, you know, see the car for the, for the first time and, and eventually then coming alive and, yeah, knowing how much work goes into the whole process from such a long time, time ago from <coughs> so many talented people. It's, um, it's really inspiring. Yeah, damn, so... Me, it's got to be super motivating to, you know, try and make most out Adopting of it. Adopting you know, the, uh, the kick colors. And, uh, yeah, keep things up. So um, can't really wait to get on track. Neither can we. Alessandro, we already talked a little bit about why this new partnership is so exciting. But what else makes this rebrand? Sass says Hobo looks better on track and that light in the green is way too pale. It does look quite bright, doesn't it? Stake with all our partners. We have international brands that are I'm happy with that though, because I like the dark British racing green kind of kind of green the Aston's got. Let, let, let us keep that one. Together. Is exciting to write but that's what kick is, isn't it? Kick, the kick logo, the kick colors are very, it's like a lime green. It's like a, it'll, maybe not lime, but it's like a bright green. So I guess it's kind of what they're going for. The excitement is always I think it looks good. I like it. Journey, especially it's in weird one, being we so different from the regular alpha season. colors, but so obviously it's a complete brand wait. change, so. To start the it makes sense. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna mute this because they're obviously just going to say they can't wait to start the season and all this kind of stuff. Um... But yeah, well, what do you guys think? Rating out of ten, chat, for the for the uh, Stake F1 team, new livery, a whole new uh, rebrand, and therefore a whole new livery. Five, seven, four. Oh, you guys don't like it? It's the Asda F1 car. I do. I I'm with Sav. I do want to see it out on the track, but I I don't mind it at all. I think the I think green and black is generally a nice a nice combination. Um. But of course, it is hard to tell in this studio lighting. Well, I mean, you know, you can get an idea of it, but with the green floor and then the, you know, how much darkness there is, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it probably makes it look a little bit better, if anything. Four, four point four. Damn, you guys are brutal. I honestly, for me, I'd give that a solid. I would give that a solid seven. I quite like it. I quite like it. Yeah, I quite like it. Fabio says, what an L livery. Why don't you like it, dude? I, I agree that the green is very pale. Uh, I mean, it's got to imitate the kick, the, uh, the kick colors. But 
I think it's all right. Green and black is just a good combo, isn't it? But then I don't know what it's going to be like out on track. It might look complete ass when it's in the sunlight. Generic F123 F1 world livery. <laughs> they just copied the, the, the FOM car. That plain green livery. I, th I, I think I've got that on my car at the moment. It looks like they've just randomly painted the colour on rather than put any thought into it. I want to see some different angles. Can we see the rear? Maybe we have seen the rear and I've just not been paying attention. Well, that's a nice wheel though. Bro, I, I want I want I want that wheel for the rig. That'd be kind of sick, wouldn't it? Can we get that on the wheel cam? Anyway, I think we've uh, I think we've seen enough. I think we've seen enough. I feel like um Yeah. I, not too bad, not too bad. I, I don't mind it. 7 out of 10 for me, which might be unpopular. Benjamin's is 8 out of 10, so clearly it's quite split then. I think most people are in the camp of um, it doesn't look great, but a few a few also agreeing that it, it looks nice. 1 out of 10, says McMinn. Where is your new wheel? Oh, I, that, the torpedo, I'd... I would absolutely love to answer that question. I would love to. <laughs> my, I, I did check the tracking for my old wheel, the one that's getting um, either replaced or fixed. I think it's going to be the latter. I think it's just going to be fixed. Um, I would love it if they just sent me a new wheel, but I don't think it will. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's over. Uh, that arrived in Italy like, uh, no, uh, Friday last week, I think. And it's been processed and shipped over to uh, Cube Control. So by the end of the week, they should have it. Um, and then they'll start work on repairing it. So I hope it's only going to be a couple more weeks, to be honest, because, um, yeah, because, like, as much as um, as much as this wheel is a breath of fresh air, honestly, like, I, I, I love the wheel. Um, it, it, it just doesn't look as good on the wheel camera. I, I watched my creator series back and, and um, uh, also Friday as well with this wheel, and as much as it all works, and that's great, it just doesn't look as good, does it? So... Uh, and, I, and I fully understand people coming in being like, whoa, GB, that, that wheel doesn't look as cool. What the hell was that? Marmite car. Yeah, it does seem a bit Marmite, doesn't it? It does seem a bit Marmite. I mean, I like it. I like it. I prefer the Williams. I think the Williams livery looks nicer, the one we saw earlier. Um, the Haas, I'm kind of a bit meh on. I personally prefer that uh, uh, the, the Stake F1 car livery to the, to the Haas. But hey, that's just me. I thought the Haas was just, I don't know, just a bit mishmashy with the with the, with the colours of the red and the black and the and the white and it was just, I don't know. I I think it got a good reception on Twitter. A lot of people liked it, but for me, I was a bit like meh. Did you like the coverage of you on the main Crate Series broadcast, dude? I had picture and picture working for the first time, chat, and I was so happy. Honestly, nothing went wrong in Crate Series apart from the actual race where Alex killed me and that kind of ruined my race. But aside from that, um. On the technical side and the wheel, everything was perfect. So hopefully that's a really good sign of things to come. Um, Rob, Scott, I don't know with... I, I'm assuming what we did with wiping uh, the PC and resetting Windows... Oh, sorry, upgrading Windows. Um, I'm assuming that did it some good because I was never able to do that before. So I hope. I hope when I get the, the wheel back and I plug it in that it doesn't, you know, start causing chaos again and, and all sorts of other issues. Can't believe your wheel didn't break when you hit the wall. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, 130 kilometers, we made contact with the front right. I've got no idea how I didn't DNF either. Um, and I would have been really annoyed if I DNF from that. But yeah, it, the, that that part was lucky not to DNF for sure. So um, I guess, I guess, yeah. I mean, it would have been nice not to be put in the wall in the first place, but I guess I can count myself lucky after that one. Have you seen Razin's? Yeah, yeah I, was, I saw the the video the the video Razin put out of um of like the clown noises basically the the circus uh, soundtrack I think to Alex's like multiple incidents he spun at the start which I didn't even see as well he completely just spun under no pressure um yeah he had a he had a shocker uh, which is quite strange I know he kind of scuffed his setup he put really low wings and terrible front suspension but um but still uh you know it doesn't even even with a it's not like he had a default setup you know it wasn't wasn't undrivable um someone said f123 my team type livery 
Anyway, speaking of my team, guys, it's Lotus. We're back. Um, I'm going to unpause the music a little bit. It's like eerily quiet. I've actually got music w uh, working now where it's copyright free playlist. Thanks to Tom, the absolute legend, sent me his um, copyright free music playlist. So I can actually play it on all the platforms, which is nice. Not just uh, complete silence. Uh, oh, Alex did a stream earlier to analyze his bad race. Did he? Oh, I completely missed it. I would have liked to have seen that. Um, yeah, I, I was, I've was. i been so busy today. I've been super busy. I've been, I'm not going to lie, I've been stressing out in the background, but it's, uh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I would have, would have liked to have watched that. I'm assuming that was um, a few hours ago. <clears throat> Considering he got P5, he clearly holds himself to a crazy high standard. No, but like... Well, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's the I don't think it's the finish necessarily. Like, I get that P five is the lowest he's finished, but like, it's more the multiple mistakes, if anything. Um. Anyway, right. So it is Canada for the first race. Uh, I'm on one ten AI, as you guys already know. Um, where are we in the championship right now? I believe we're leading. We are. We're leading by twenty three points. Uh, and three points behind Red Bull and the Constructors. So Pasta is not cooking. He's... What's his results been like? So... We won three races on the bounce in the first four. Okay, we had a really good start. And then last two races... Last two races weren't too long ago. Monaco and Spain, P4, P3. Um, Pasta finished P3, P2. So ahead of us in, in both races... Max won Monaco and then P9 in Spain. So that hurts him a lot. Yeah, last race hurts him a lot. Um, okay, interesting. So absolutely loads of races to go in the season, as you can see. Um, title race is wide open. If For those of you guys that remember when we did season one, which is going back a fair old way. This is like way back into last year. Um, we bottled on the final race. I believe Leclerc was P3 in the championship going into the final race and... Um, yeah, for, for the for the title when he and he won it in Abu Dhabi with some crazy finishes. I think I did. Did I DNF that race? I think I got taken out. I can't remember what. I can't remember what exactly happened. It was, it was towards the end where I got taken out in some form. Sector two, I think it was. Yeah. Anyway, so um, we need to cook some points today. Clearly, um, Pasta is in a quick car. We are the fastest car on the grid. As things currently stand, we're marginally ahead of Aston Martin. But I don't understand that because the Aston Martin drivers are not... Like, look at where they are. Stroll and, uh, Stroll and Sergeant. I keep forgetting that. It's Lance Stroll and Logan Sargent as the Aston Martin pairing. They have got 19 and 14 points in what is the second quickest car. Not cooking. Not cooking from the Astons. Um, then it's obviously Red Bull, McLaren, Haas. Haas are very high up. What are they... They've been scoring points. No, they haven't. Jesus. I mean, a little bit less surprising with the... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Haas are, like, what, fifth fastest car, so I guess kind of understandable. Season 1 car was a rocket ship, too. Uh, yeah, I think it was. I think it was. I can't remember how far ahead we were, but I think we were very quick going into Abu Dhabi. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into it. We've got Canada for the first race. I don't think there's much more to run through in terms of upgrades for our car. Obviously, the R&D points are low. We've got much going on at the moment in terms of upgrades. We've got one aero. We've got no more there. Oh, okay. That one failed. So we need, we need a lot more points in Canada to be able to get that one going. I mean, R&D doesn't matter too much anyway, because we are, like I said, guys, to you earlier, um, we are at the stage where the car on paper is like ridiculously quick, but then the brakes start, uh, um, the tires start overheating and the, like, it, the game can't handle the car's performance, if that makes sense. I'm, I know some of you will know what I'm referring to. But yeah, we've got one power unit upgrade on, on the go as well. So no chassis, one aero, um, and one power unit durability we don't care get in the bin uh and that should all be okay we've already got extra engines so that part's looking okay do we need to change actually for canada doesn't look like at all 45 percent on an energy store that should be okay uh 41 on gearbox yeah these 
And as you saw in Gearbox, should be okay for Canada, but we might want to change them before Austria. We are doing short qualifying and 50% races, so that means we can do two instead of one. I used to do 100% races full quality back in the day when we were doing uh, Wendy Bobson, my team, and, uh, and, and all the other good stuff. Um, but these days, I like to do two races in one stream, especially that we can't do these too often. So, um, I will say, guys, keep an eye out for this mid-race, because if you see a wheel fall off, then uh, I don't quite know how, but it it broke. I got in my rig earlier, and um, and and there was a wheel just on the seat. Literally, there's just a wheel there. Um, I have a theory that Mia attacked it, but I don't know. I'm blaming the cat. I don't know how else it would have come off. There was just a random wheel on the rig, so I was like, what's happened there? Actually, welcome in. I'm doing well, thank you, mate. How are you? How are you? Welcome in. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I've had a, I've had a busy day at work. We're ready to cook with spaghetti and pasta. Uh, yeah, so three points behind Red Bull, 23 ahead of Max. So we're in a good position. We need a need a solid race here. Um, but nonetheless, I think I'm ready to send this one through. Actually, before I do, can we do anything to facilities or are we waiting? How much do we need? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I think after this race, we'll get another spec three on one of these. I'll probably do aero, to be honest. Awesome. So, let's go straight into it. <clears throat> Reckon my ladders have visited. He loves simulating crashes and taking the wheels off cars. Yeah, you'd love this then. There's, pl there's plenty of cars in this room to take wheels off. That one behind as well. They have a field day with that one. Uh, oh, we've got a wet practice three, but no rain in the race or quality. Interesting. I think we've had that recently as well. Looks like it's going to be a dry one. Uh, it's threatening towards the end of the race, but again, 12%. It's, a pro it's unapproximate. That shouldn't be enough to uh, to bring, bring rain along. I think we're looking at a dry race weekend then, guys. Um, so let's go straight into practice. Wrong button. And, uh, yeah, and get a setup on. <clears throat> what are the thoughts on steak? I quite liked it. I quite liked the livery. I, I, I gave it a 7 out of 10. You chat was, was less generous. You guys didn't seem to like it much. I mean, feel free to let me know your thoughts as well and uh, uh, all you guys watching at the moment. But you know, we had a lot of fours, fives, sixes. We had a one from McBin. Oh, no. We don't want to go out. Okay. Uh, race strat. Right. What is the cannabis that we got? Let me, let me have a look. That's up. Right. What are we cooking for Canada set up? I think, it, I think... Right, guys. I remember doing four-player career with Tom... And the AI were really OP on tire wear. Like, really OP. So, I think their straight line speed was good. Was, this, was their straight line speed good? Or was our straight line speed good? I think their straight line speed was good. I'm going to go lower on the wings, though. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go lower. Let me, uh, let me adjust my setup real quick. Get this one going. Uh, okay, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, cool. Right. We've got a setup for Canada. Lovely stuff. I lowered the wings on it, chat. So this might be uh, this might be a little bit slow for the corners, but hopefully we'll be a bullet on the straights. Uh, do, we, do I want to do mediums? Not really. What's the race wrap program? Is that... Uh, Oh, it's on mediums. What if I select soft? Can I do it? I oh, know it has to be on mediums. Okay. All right, let's go out and do that. Okay, track's green right now, so take a few laps to get the tyres up to temp and get yourself in the zone. Uh, I think McLaren over Williams uh, equals stake and over Haas. So I, I completely agree. Um, actually, I said uh, I said I prefer Williams to the stake F1 livery. And then I prefer that to the house. 
I don't think I've seen the McLaren one. Was that was that today? If McLaren was today, I missed it. When was McLaren? Having the Ferrari engine in, in this car throws me off. So much whinier than the Mercedes engine that we've got in the Aston. You just hear the turbo. I like it. Sounds different. When was McLaren? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Chat. Uh, Gobs to G. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Appreciate it. Oh my god, all right, you've been waiting over a month for your fan table. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I hear constant problems of, uh, constant reports of how scuffed fan shipping is at the moment. Right. Let's hope that we're not too, uh, Low on this race track. We do have standard damage on. Wait, is it standard or sim? I think it. I think it's. I think it's standard. I think it's standard damage. Might be sim though. The car definitely feels quick through the corners. Few tents up, just warming up. Let's hope that we've got a good straight line speed though, that's what we want for the race. That is what we want. If I remember correctly from four player, the AI's quality quality pace wasn't incredible here. But they're on tire wear in the race, they were very good. Oh dear. Oh, what's up, Commander? Welcome in. Slow on the exit there. Hey, what's up, Zodi? Good to see you, mate. Hope you're keeping well. How's car life? Anyone who likes a salvo livery is getting banned. Ban me then. Ban me then. <laughs> I thought it was all right. I give it a seven, which I feel like. That, 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 that definitely categorizes as a nice livery for me. Yeah, I quite like it. Oh, Nitro, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. I don't understand the can't justify it thing though. Someone to live. Steak livery will look sick under night lights. I want to see it under daylight because that's the real kind of test for it, I suppose. Because otherwise. Um in the studio lights, when they just revealed it, I liked it. But then, because the, the green's quite pale, it might look kind of meh in the daylight. Have to wait and see. Bahrain testing will uh, will reveal. Bahrain is end of Feb as well, isn't it, guys? It's literally... I think we're only like three weeks away. Three weeks this weekend from... Was it two weeks? No, I think it's three. F1 is nearly back. Honestly, can't come sooner. Oh, 
That was nice. Yeah, that was good. That was good. This is a good lap. Come on. Push! A little bit of drift. I just lock up the rears at him. 55. Jesus. We're going to be into the eights on mediums as well. Oh, that's a terrible exit. Jesus. We actually are, though. <laughs> oh, wait. No, never mind. That was the Delta to the practice program. 9.6 9 on... Uh, on mediums with wear. I think quality times then are going to be way into the eights, aren't they? Way into the eights. Practice program's always slow, though. See his final lap, and then we'll be good. Or will we? Are we going to get blocked? Lovely. Okay, test complete. All right, in we go. That should be practice done and pretty much straight into quality. F1 starts on a leap day. Oh, it's 29th of Feb. I didn't even I didn't even clock that. It's 29th of Feb to 2nd of March. Oh damn. Three weeks then. Three weeks. I'm looking forward to that. Guys, who do you think in Bahrain is going to be the surprise team? And, and when I say surprise, I mean, like, it could be a significant, like, performance drop or increase. Like, for example, Willi maybe, like, Williams is going to be a top three team or something. Like, wh who's going to be the one team? Is it going to be Red Bull? Maybe they're going to be significantly slower. I, I doubt it, but who do you reckon? Steak? See so what, you reckon quicker? I reckon that green's going to give them a load of pace. Oh, yeah, Nitro's right, by the way. We were discussing this in Discord earlier. Um, the first two races, race day is actually Saturday. Races on a uh, races on a Saturday, and um, uh, the practice starts on. Well, I guess it's no wait. What's the yeah practice on Thursday then? Hey, what's up, Nina? How we doing? How we doing? How we doing? Saw you uh, getting absolutely yeeted around in uh, lobbies yesterday. It was yesterday. Mini Giga Chad Chaco with a follow. Wonder who that is, mate. Oh, I'm very good, Nita. I'm very good. Why are we shouting? You, you good? <laughs> I see you shouting over there. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing my team. So I'm in the Lotus. I'm in the Lotus, and we're going to be cooking in this session. Nina, who do you reckon is going to be cooking in Bahrain? Who's going to be? Uh, who's going to be the surprise team? Commander reckon steak. What do you guys reckon? I reckon... Who do I reckon is going to be the surprise team? Uh, are McLaren going to kick off to... Like, like if McLaren carry on their form from last season, they 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 could potentially be, you know, second team or, or, or close to Red Bull. Potentially. Aston will be slow, you reckon? Aston, yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem with uh, with us, is it? it was like the start of last season, absolutely cooking, and then just kind of. I mean, they were constantly making upgrades, but they just weren't really working for the car, and other teams were then making bigger gains than, than Aston were, so it kind of just dropped off. I don't know whether they'll be able to kind of reverse that and claw it back round, but um, it'll be interesting because what we've now had two years of these new regulations. This is entering year three. Teams are, yeah, teams are constantly finding a lot of pace. 
Rob the Beast, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome in. <laughs> see you, Nina. See you. Take care. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's retire from, let's retire from quality and go into, um, I'll retire from practice, sorry, go to quality. So let's review our Pasta one-tenth slow on softs. Yeah, that's practice pace. I was using battery. <clears throat> Williams could also be a huge surprise if they have the fastest car in a straight line and have really made a huge step forward in the aero. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Williams Williams could be for sure. They had a good season. They had a good end of last season, didn't they? They were they were really Williams are a weird one last season because they like some circuits they were genuinely really fast at and others they were like the slowest car on the grid. So they just had such a mix of circuits, which um I remember James Vowles knew. They they acknowledged that they would be quick some places and really slow others. So I wonder whether they've gotten on top of that. Because yeah, you'd think if they can extract extract that pace around more tracks, then uh, they will be cooking. GB, is there a law behind Spaghetti Maldonado? Like, why is it called Spaghetti? Because his uncle is pasta, and uh, he, there's no law behind it. That's just a fact. If you Wikipedia Pasta Maldonado, it will say his nephew is called Spaghetti Maldonado. That's, that's, that's why I thought, you know what? Let's do a Maldonado family career mode, and let's make it fun. So here we are. Don't question it, mate. Don't question it. <laughs> right. I'll get these upgrades on. Yeah, at this stage, uh, we're in season two. We're halfway through, and, and uh, car upgrades are nuts. Like I've just got it on default for. I don't. I don't think I change it. If I did change it, I would have buffed the AI or or nerfed me. Um, I think it might just be on default, but even on default, it's nuts how many upgrades you get. Or how fast you get through it, even. I know a lot of you guys have um, have stopped playing my team. My, te my team these days is, is pretty dead. Um, but I wanted to dip back into it because it's been a while. And and, uh, and yeah, like I said earlier, we, we missed out on the title season one. I, can't, I just want to finish. I kind of want to finish season two at least and then kind of see where we go from there. And I'm in no rush to do it. You know, we, we, I think the last time we this, did this was like a month ago or something. Uh, big fella, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Alex Gaming as well. What's up, dude? Let me see testing phase first and see what everyone would show or not show. Wait, see what everyone would show or not show. Oh, that's better. I needed my fan on. Sheesh. Oh, that's better. That's better. Torpedo incoming. Oh, very good. I was going to say, Ben, I'm doing my teammate. It's not open lobbies. You can't join me. It's not, it's, it's not possible, mate. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. With 91 legends. Do you want to know how Ben ruined it, Alex? Because he said uh, torpedo incoming. Oh, there we go. That's a raid message. Brilliant. <laughs> Welcome in, guys, from the torpedo himself. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thoughts on the... Uh, I, Alex, you must have you must have watched this and, and been going through it, but thoughts on the new Stake F1 livery? I've been... Look, I've been getting stick over here. I like it. I, I think it's a pretty cool livery. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I don't like the... I prefer the Williams. Um, but I prefer it to the Haas. Is it ugly as heck? No, I, I like it. I think it looks decent. But what I want to see is um, it in the daylight because the kick low or the kick colors, which is obviously what they've gone for, is a light green, which in the studio in the dark and contrasting with the black, for me at least, made it look quite cool. But then in the daylight, that could look kind of, it could look kind of dog if it's uh, if it's quite pale. Is it, does anyone in chat like it? There's a, there's a lot of yucks, horrifics, Asda F1 team. <laughs> it's not the first time I've seen Asda. Maybe, maybe we should do that in Asda Mighty. It's Defo being made of the F1 23 <laughs> livery editor. <laughs> Looks like someone just copy and paste a bad F1 multiplayer livery. I don't mind it. I don't know. It's weird, though, just seeing it so different to the old Alpha. Like now we're gonna have two green cars on on the grid out of nowhere. The um the alpha image was such a kind of 
Yeah, it was just so used to seeing it on the grid. It's going to feel weird. Tin says they like it. It's a lot of color. Anyone else like it? Pretty much everyone else is like, nah, this 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 looks like ass, mate. <clears throat> Let's jump in the stake together next game on Creative Series. All right, Ben. Got it. I mean, no one will know. It's, it's basically an Aston, right? Green colors that will blend in. It looks pretty much the same. Speaking of Aston, guys, that's a week... Uh, that's a week today, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one. I haven't I haven't seen any leaks or teasers yet, and I plan on staying well away from that. Great colours, but terrible design. The green is like Marmite Percy. I don't mind it. If it was a darker green, it would look better, but um, it would that wouldn't make sense. It's not. That's not the kit colours, and also Aston a darker green. Uh, it'll be green like Ferrari will be red. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think the Aston's going to change much from green. Imagine, guys, imagine the Aston comes out next week and it's like, boom, yellow. Everyone's going to be like, mind blown. Imagine. Uh, welcome to everyone tuning in, by the way. This is my Lotus custom my team. So we're doing Maldonado to glory, as you can see. Um, that means we I've got Pasta Maldonado, Uncle Pasta as our teammate. We are driving as his nephew, which you guys all know, of course, as Spaghetti Maldonado. So um, we're on 110 AI. It's round, is it nine? I think Canada is round nine of uh, season two. And um, at this point, the cars are heavily upgraded. Obviously, lap times are way quicker. Um, it feels really weird to drive because the, in my team, as you guys know, I, I know most people don't play my team these days. It's pretty dead. Um, part of that reason is because when you upgrade the car, it's undrivable. And I think we're pretty much at that stage in this career. So fingers crossed. It'll be drivable uh, in these races that we do. I, I've not really driven it in like a month. I think when we did it though at Monaco in Spain, it was it was fine. So yeah, let's see. Um, prediction is up as well. Well, we finished Q3. Uh, it is, I think it's short quality though. So I guess, well, we finished short quality. That is the uh, that is the prediction. Thank you, mate. Uh, what colors do you reckon the W15 will be? Uh, I mean, what colors are there to choose from? Black, black or black? What was you reckon? I, I reckon it's going to be yellow. Now, surely that surely they don't change from a, from a black livery. If Mercedes do change from it, they've got to go back to silver. Silver arrows, it's got to be um, got to be silver or black. Maybe silver, yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for the uh, the raid, though. Again, Alex, I appreciate it, mate. I do appreciate it. Um. Guys, everyone, Alex is on. What were you up to, by the way? Were you, um... Uh, my chat told me earlier that Alex was doing a, a, a review of his Creator Series race, which went very well. Uh, I was the... You know, I, I got to first-hand experience that. That was fantastic. Somehow I didn't DNF. Um, but I don't know what else you guys got up to. Hey, you sweated time trolls? Really? Was that a challenge or something? That's why he doesn't normally do that. Absolute time trial sweat. But yeah, guys, this is the performance of our car, by the way. We are the fastest car on the grid. Um, but it's weird. Aston Martin are second fastest, but yet their drivers are just not scoring any points. That's <laughs> on Logan Sargent. Um, but yeah, uh, a little bit weird in the, where we are in my team. I'm looking forward to seeing how Max does this race, given that we're uh, quite close in the championship. We bottled Monaco when Max won it last time out, and then he bottled Spain when we got a podium. <clears throat> Beagles, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome in. Uh, Wild Deadly. Uh, Benny Fowl and Titanic as well. Appreciate the follows. Maybe Merc will change to red to trick Lewis. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It's going to be, a, honestly, I, I, I'm as excited as you guys to see, um, to see how that's going to unfold with Lewis and Merc this season. Because George Russell now surely gets preference in general. Um, across the season. He, he's surely going to get the preferential treatment. And yeah, and Lewis is saying he's focused on, on the last season with Mercedes, but then everyone knows he's going to Ferrari now. So there's there's going to be that constant, constant talking in the paddock. Oh, it was to see if he was in the murder office to set up was a cause. Okay. 
Are you sure that's hard to replicate in time trials, though? Because it was, like, completely random conditions of, like, max uh, fuel and stuff. Uh, right, let me just let me just check my fuel. Um, I don't like hiding my setup in my team, but obviously it's uh, it's an SRC one, so I I, I don't want to accidentally show it. Okay, uh, short quality then. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do a lap on Inters. Why not? Let's do a lap on Inters. I want to see who's the slowest driver on the grid. Do I reckon? Oh, where's Latifi when you need him? I don't know who the slowest slowest driver is, but I want to see if I can beat anyone on Inters. I always like doing this challenge. Some tracks is possible, some tracks is not. Uh, yeah, we're good. Everyone ready? Okay, let's go. Did you guys hear what happened to Christian Horner? Yeah, yeah, I did hear that. I did. Um, I mean, we don't know anything other than just rumours, right? Nothing's been officially confirmed, unless I'm mistaken. It was the same with Hamilton, of course. But so, so yeah, you never know what's true and what isn't true. But yeah, from what I've heard, it's, it obviously does not sound good at all. Needless to say, Horner is a massive part of the uh, the Red Bull team. So, what would happen if he actually did go? I've got no idea. I mean, he would obviously get replaced, but how is that going to work with the team dynamic? Imagine Helmut Marco as team principal chat. <laughs> I feel I feel like we need to see it. Some outlets reporting unsolicited images and abuse of power dynamics. Jesus. Yeah, that's a, yeah. It's difficult, like I said, because when when you're hearing loads of different reports of it. It's hard to, it's hard like not to judge, but at the same time we do need to wait until it is actually officially confirmed because yeah, it's pretty mad. Those allegations are pretty nuts. Uh, oh, I was not paying attention. 35 signups on the community event. Oh, no. Oh, you let me through. Okay. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Could be a nice little uh, warm up with the Red Bull glue to the back of it. That's for Stafford as well. Oh. Inters have never felt so grippy before. I don't feel that bad. Risking 50 diff through this whole lap as well. Go away! Oh, don't send it, please. Okay, that was too early on the brakes. What's the straight line speed like? Is it okay? They're really fast in four player. Oh, we're pulling slightly away and he's got slip through. I'm pretty sure we pulled slightly away then. That's a good sign. Don't know if he had his battery on though. No, nowhere near them. Damn. I think we've already got times in the eights. Eleven the pink gloves. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it, mate. We've got two pairs of new gloves to replace the uh, the absolutely battered ones we had before. Wild behaviour. Yeah. I mean, look, as I said, I'm hesitant to, uh, to judge until it's officially confirmed. But the allegations are certainly... Uh, Certainly not good at all. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. Yeah, I yeah. Literally, me and Vic have the same gloves. I basically just look like I've copied her. I didn't realise until um someone said it the other day. I was like, oh you got the same gloves as Vic. And I was like, wait, what? And I saw she had the pink Maradness one. So I was like, oh damn, yeah, I guess I, I guess I'm I'm gonna be accused of copying now. <laughs> oh my god. 
Right, back into the pits we go. We need a we need a stonker of a lap in short quality. Carlos Sainz has an 8.8. .8. What's going to be pole time? It's got to be a, it's going to be a mid eight at least. Mid eight at least. Um, I'm going to go straight out, guys. I think if we're quick, we can do um, we can do two laps because I think. When we did, when I did this race with Tom, what was it? I think he he went for a two stop, which was the wrong choice. It was a, it was a one stop race. So I think we probably want to do medium hards this race, but then we can keep a set of softs for obvious safety car chaos. Yeah, two sets of mediums as well. Mm. Why didn't I go softer? We definitely don't need two mediums for the race. Yeah, we definitely don't need two mediums for the race. Unless we go medium, medium, soft in the race. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll do we'll do two runs. We'll do two runs. Right, the car's ready. Let's get the braking point's so bad when they're fully upgraded. Yeah, um, it doesn't feel horrendous at the moment, but the car just feels weird. Like it sometimes feels that there's too much downforce for the way I don't know I don't even know how to describe it it's just weird I'm not used to this kind of scenario because I don't often do my team and well used to the multiplayer or the, the equal performance um, online car so to me this car always feels quite weird it's obviously much quicker but quicker doesn't necessarily mean it feels good uh, we will need to get some heat in the tyres I don't know how, how well they warm up That is another thing, actually. I'll put tire. I'll put tire pressures in equivalent to what I would if it was an equal performance car. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. No idea. The underbody's taken some damage. I Excuse me. Have I just seen that correctly? That is the stupidest AI thing I've ever seen in my life. Why have they just tanked the back of me? I mean, I know I'm not exactly off the track, but you got you got left, you got right. The racing line's to the left, surely. How far past the corner are we? Yeah, we're way past the corner. You tap back on uh, up the inside, bro. That is insane. What is he doing? What is he doing? Right, you want to go through now? You're not even on a lap! Oh my god, he's not even on a lap! Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Is it Alex? Yeah, Alex is trying to torpedo me. That's what it is. He's back in this session as well. It all makes sense now. Right, let's get a decent lap in. They're taking way more curve on that end side. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Oh, Jesus. Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's try and drift the hairpin. Down to 54 bias. Help kick the rear out. A little bit of drift on entry. That was decent. Three point eight seconds up. What is that? That's into the nines. Not enough. 
Cut that inside a lot. You can take that curve pretty heavily if you get it right. Oh, we're getting loads there. Oh, we're getting loads. That's a provisional pole at the moment. 8.5. 8.5 with Piastri seconds. Teammate in P4. Interesting. Let's just hit return to garage. Interesting. I think I lost quite a bit of time in sector two. Where was it? So we were purple, purple sector one. Okay, that's that's a good sign then for our straight line speed. Sector three was a twenty-seven. Se yeah, we're we're running low downforce here for sure because we're we're slow in sector two, chat. But we got straight line speed. I went lower wings. I learned from my lesson in four-player career where the AI were very fast on the straights, not that quick overall, but insane on tire wear, and um, yeah, like I said, insane on tire wear, and then and then fast on the straights. So I, I dropped my wings, and it looks like we're slightly quicker on the straights, and hopefully tire wear won't be too bad. That's gonna be the main the main test. So who who had purple six two? Then wait, was that me? No. Doesn't Oh, uh, Piastri. 20, 21 4. So, yeah, we're some three tenths off that. Pass is three tenths slower than us as well. Hmm. All right. Um, decent lap, but let's uh, get ready to go out again. Let's put the fresh shadow boots on, uh, accelerate the time. Wait, Verstappen. Oh, Verstappen P4. That's surprising. He's normally very quick. He's gone. He's gone purple sector three though. He's gone purple sector three. Oh, I want all the drivers to go out, and still no one's out. Still no one's out. Oh God, how late are these guys leaving it? I'm gonna go out now. Yeah, we'll go okay, now. You need to go out. To go. go out and stop, brake dragon. Let's go then, chat. This is final run, and then we'll be into the 50% race. There's like 36 laps, I think, of Canada. There's a lot of laps because it's such a short track. Um, but there's no rain in the race. It is a dry race. But we'll need to get the strategy right. This is a chance for redemption. Driving against 110 AI on in the four-player career mode that we did with, uh, with Tom, Dale, and Adam. Where, unfortunately, I was left very frustrated. I think I went from, like... P4 down all the way down to like P10 because of tire wear from the end. It was nuts. Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Oh, these guys are going to be weird, aren't they? Yeah, brilliant. Very good, guys. Very good. <laughs> what are these? I, I love the AI quality. They're so, they're so smart. Anyone on the lap is getting ruined. Okay, the Mercedes is slammed on the brakes. Another Ferrari. <laughs> They're all going to get grip penalties, man, I swear. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, my God. Right, go. Be gone. Okay, no one's there. <laughs> Come on, go. Go! Why are these guys driving so slow? Idiots. End up slowing each other up again. We've still got time. All right, here goes. Oh, hot lap would help. Why did I think I should break later that time? Clearly did not learn anything from that first run. That's a shame. Are we still going to keep... Oh, that's the question. Ah, lap's done. Get 
Yeah, I drifted that nicely on that lap. Need a lot of time through there. All right. It's still pole position. Fantastic. You've got pole still pole position. position. Bit, of, bit of time left in that lap. We actually qualified in pole then, chat. Not bad. <laughs> that first run was enough. Uh, I really lost a lot of time with that hairpin. The, 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 the first lap um, absolutely nailed that. So, P1. Teammate P2. Oh, my God. Times are really close. 21 thousandths behind me. Piastri, 800. And Oscar Piastri. Russell just under a tenth. Jesus. There you go. If we made one, 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 uh, well, like one mistake on that first run, we could have been like P10. Those times are crazy. All right, let's go. Huge. All right, that's a great result. It's a Lotus 1-2 then in qualifying, which is where the car's performance should be, really. But let's wait and see in the race because we know we're going to suffer from tire wear. We know we're going to struggle there. I'm thinking hard tyres. I'm thinking hard tyres, chat. Uh, I think all of this is fine. 48%. 31. Yeah, no worries, Laura. I was saying as well, thank you for the follow earlier. Uh, not the follow. The, the, the sub earlier. I saw you sub at like 6pm, like an hour before I went live and I, I commented in chat. I, uh, I was setting up at the time. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, no rain in this race, by the way, chat. No rain in this race. It is going to be dry all the way through, like I said. 35 laps, not 36. Um, and I think we're good to go. Oh, RD points. Let's check them on the upgrade that failed on the chassis. It was, uh, it was this one that failed. Check it on that. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, cool. Okay. Check it on that, and then we're uh, we're good to go. So, 35 lap race. I think we're good. We can send it. Uh, I'm not missing anything. Quick uh, championship recap for anyone that didn't see. Um, 23 points ahead of Max Verstappen. We're only on round nine, or this is round nine. So, um, plenty more races to go. Uh, the title is wide open, of course. Verstappen's been kind of to and fro having having bad results and really good results. He's, he's been quite in inconsistent so far. Um, we are three points behind Red Bull with how bad our teammates been. But with that P2 in quali, who knows? Maybe we can convert some big points in this race. I'm going to have to, with your guys' help, I'm going to have to decide what tyre to start on now. Because I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking hard tyres. The only thing is, obviously, we'll be vulnerable to an undercut, but I don't know. On this game, normally, it, it's it's usually uh, quicker or better to box earlier. <clears throat> I'm just wondering, though, since we've already got trap position, what would be the play? Oh, I might, yeah, it probably just was an auto sub then, Laura. God, I've got the music turned down so low, uh, so low, and it still sounds quite loud. All right, just Before looking very begin, dry here. Any penalties? For today's race. Any Cook penalties? Any penalties? Look at that. Maldonado Spaghetti and Uncle Pasta. One two. The the we have Oscar Piastri, Russell, Magnussen. Oh, the second got penalty. Where's he starting? Oh my God! Where's he starting? Like ten places? Nah, more. Hamilton. P14! Holy crap. And Hamilton as well. Oh, Nick DeVries is still here. Damn, that's nuts. All right. Well, Max is kind of in the mud there. Four laps over on Fuel. Jesus. I don't want to mess with this, guys, because Fuel is a, a big one in my team that... If it says go over on fuel, you go over on fuel because the car burns a lot. Soft medium is a viable strat according to this. I'm not liking the look of that though. I'm thinking hards. I'm thinking hards. 
considering they're all around the same laps. We right, let's just double check. Let's check what what a soft, medium, soft will be, just for research purposes. Hmm. I don't think that's the play, guys. We go hards and then maybe. Will you remove this? Yeah. We could go 17 or 8. Yeah, actually. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to do this. We'll get undercut by like three laps by the AI, so they'll gain a lot of time towards the end of our stint, but then we should be okay to the end on mediums, I think. What do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon? Um, six seconds slower than a two-stop. I'm very tempted to go for a two-stop, but then Tom did that in four-player and it went horribly wrong. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going I'm to stick. I'm going to go one-stop. Hard mediums, guys. Hard mediums. Easy. We'll stick with that. Just need to get some heat in it on this uh, warm-up lap. Okay, so everything looks good on the power unit cycles. Right. So let's concentrate Warming on the bad boys up. and brakes up to temperature. We got passer on soft behind. Wow, okay. Interesting. I don't really want to let him run, run away with it. I still want to win. Those points could be uh, useful in our own title bids. As nice as it would be to secure the okay, win with Pasta. But the advantage, of course, of taking hards now is that we will not need to warm up hard tyres when we box in the race. We warm them up now on the formation lap. And then you box the mediums, which will warm up quicker. Right, let's get some more tension, please. Wait, I just realised this really this wears the engine loads, doesn't it? Brake dragging, right? I still think you need to do it because I I can't weave. It shouldn't wear it on the formation lap, but when I was doing it in quali, it probably was. Okay. Let's go 55. Right then, guys. First race back in a long time in the Lotus. Hope we can have a good start. Need a good launch. We've had better launches recently, especially on the new wheel. Okay, incredible parking there. Nice one. That's going to give you the edge if you can get a good launch as the race starts. All right, here goes. Keep an eye on the lights. The start sequence will begin as soon as the grid is formed. Be ready with a clutch. I need to say ahead of the, the McLarens. He goes. Little bit of wheel spin, but come away fine. Contact with teammates. He definitely ran too wide there. But we hold P1. I hope I haven't given him damage. I really hope I haven't given him damage. There is a chance he has damage because I think we are on simulation chat. I think we're on simulation damage. The power. Oh my god. They're so fast on this open lap where they use the battery. Go away. Pass to go away. Alright, so it was good. That was good. That was good. Gonna be vulnerable though to George Russell. Oh my god, they're so fast on the street! What the hell? Holy! Oh my word! Jesus!
Also, I swear I put in 4.04 laps of fuel. Did I seriously just train that much in one lap? We are going to be slower, of course, on these hard tyres. With sim damage on, guys, I do not want to use any flashbacks. They're enabled, but I do not like using them. Oh, I'm so glad I dropped my wings because I think I think they might still be too high. The AI is so fast. Okay, blocking the rears there. That was not ideal. I think the strat's hard medium. Yeah, I think so. We can adapt it if we need to. We can maybe go soft to run these tires longer, but I think that is the play. And I did a one stop when we did four player here, and it was um, it was painful on tires towards the end. Oh, Pasta was having a look. He wants to get past on those soft tires. He is obviously going to be quicker through the corners. He's so fast on the straight. That's what worries me. I think with DRS, we're going to struggle to hold him off. Going to have to make sure I nail that hairpin. Oh, they're getting a lot through there. Look at that. Even with batteries closing so fast, it is going to be tough to overtake, guys, if we find ourselves in a tough situation. We're getting a lot of the hairpin though, wow. Give ourselves a really good launch. So with no DRS, look. No DRS! Oh, wait, oh no, wait, sorry, that is... That is with DRS, never mind. We're on lap three. <laughs> that makes more sense. Position our car on the inside. Make sure he can't get round. Soft could be a stretch, yeah. Well, we've just done three laps. Let's have a look at the tire wear. Fuel is burning really quickly, like scarily fast. Tire wear, six and eight percent, okay. Need to keep getting a good drive off of that hairpin. Really important. They close in so much. Okay, Russell might have a look on Maldonado on Pasta. We definitely can't break away. Not on these tyres at this stage. I wonder whether we've got, when we've got better tyres, whether we'll have the speed for the corners because we clearly don't have it on the straights. But this just shows how crazy the straight line speed was in four player. I've dropped the wing, I've dropped the wings quite considerably by like five clicks each to what I was running then. Oh, hello. Why have we got a gap? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Brilliant. Yeah, we gained so much on the hairpin. That was all the mistake as well. Is there a chance we can possibly break the RSS lap? Gap was about five tenths. That was a good exit. That was good. 
smooth. Okay, we cooked. Okay, no GRS for them this time. That's pretty huge. So chances are we're still going to get undercut though. Chances are we're still going to get undercut when the pit window arrives because they will go early, especially Pasta. He will go, I think he'll go on lap 15 chat. So he'll be like three laps earlier than me. The mediums might only be like lap 17. We're on 110. AI is on 110. I can't, I literally can't increase it anymore. <laughs> uh, two seconds to pass there. We're definitely gaining big through the corners. And of course, wait, hang, hang on. What? Oh, he, he might have got to 25, probably unlikely. Oh, we're getting a lot of wear on the rears, which is concerning me. That gap is going to be even bigger by the time we get to like 30%. That's almost like Baku levels of tyre wear, like difference between front, of, front and rear. This is really good though, look, because now I think what's happening is Russell and Pasta are fighting. That's what it looks like. Yeah, look, they're fighting. Oh, 100% look how much you gained through there. That's why we're pulling so far clear. Breaking that DRS was huge because now Pastor's got nothing to uh, hang on to. And George Russell is just getting a slingshot down the straights. 3.1 seconds and the gap to them is 0.4. I think everyone is still on a massive DRS train though. Uh, Ferrari's broken DRS but pretty much everyone else. Car might be a rocket ship but then... Um didn't stop my teammate from... Uh, oh, George Russell got through. Good. Have the softs died already? They're definitely past their best. Will George Russell close in? I'm slightly worried my teammate might have damage. I don't know. Teammate status. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 3.3 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. They're in third. For the time last lap was a 1 minute 13.5. So no damage then? No damage? I think he's got damage. Lock up there. Getting so much off that hairpin. Yeah, look at that. Increased downforce. Uh, yeah, the only thing is though, I thought you were supposed to get tyre wear upgrades as well, like to even it out. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's not like even with the amount of downforce you're getting. Teammate behind is 4.1 seconds. Oh, that's a big slow. Yeah, I'm definitely struggling more on the rears for sure. Even though the gap, it looks comfortable now, guys. Trust me. I remember four player. I was scarred after that. I was so annoyed. It looked like me and Tom were cooking, and then we got 
swamped by insane tire wear with the AI. I'm seeing the tire temps there. And they look quite hot. They do look quite hot. One oh three still. So cool down a little bit on the straight, but let's have a look when we get into uh, sector one and two. Don't know if the tires are overheating. If they are overheating, guys, it suggests that we should definitely avoid the softs because the softs will only get hotter. Pretty sure George Russell gained because, oh, guys, our teammates falling like a rock. George Russell's actually staying with us, I think. Kind of, barely. The gaps around the same. One oh three. Yeah, maybe tight temps are fine. But that is on hard, so... Need to hope the mediums are okay when we go to those. Safety cars are turned on, of course, and red flags are L2. So, with simulation damage, you never know with the AI fighting with each other further back. And with us getting that close to the Wall of Champions, could easily be a safety car. Uh, one thing is for sure, is our teammate is... Definitely plummeting. Rival status. They're in 12th. The difference That's for Stappen. Right, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know, chat. So far, they are slow. I'm waiting for my tyres to start falling off, which is... Okay, that's now. Now we'll start to see it. See whether they start coming back at us, because... At the moment, it, I know it's obviously been comfortable. It looks like I'm running zero AI. It is on 110. Um, I know this is not a track that they're particularly strong at, but... According to, I think it was Alex, uh, this is one of their worst tracks. I don't know what they're like at Austria, actually, next. I don't know whether they're fast or slow there, no idea. I know Silverstone. Coming up in two races time, my favourite track. They are very OP at. That should be interesting. Five point nine. Oh, jeez, I'm sliding loads, man. But the front's just got so much more grip than the rears. It's so far apart. The only other time I've seen this is Baku, and that's not a good thing. Generally means I need more understeer, so I stop kicking the rear out so much. I can tell you my rear tyre pressures are not high at all, so it won't be that. That's nuts. 20, 28. George Russell's gapping our teammate, though. It might be because Passer is fighting further back. A six second gap now. I think one reason why the AI is slow here as well, because obviously. This is a track where you take so much curb. This corner as well is another one. We don't cut that enough, but you're just cutting all these curves to gain maximum time, and that's when you can see the delta go up. As much as we are also running higher downforce. But I am starting to lock the brakes a little bit more. Definitely struggling now. Still pulling clear. 
Gasly, he's just set the fastest lap of the race so far. We will still go on to mediums. We'll stick with the strat. But I'm thinking we could do, like, one lap more, maybe. Oh, Jesus. George is your main target now? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, literally. Passes mudded for tyres. He should be boxing either this lap or next. He should box next. I, I don't know why there was a driver already boxing. Not quite sure what's happened there. Okay. Well, I could have slowed down and rigged this, but I don't like to drive like that. So, <laughs> so far, this is not ideal. I mean, it's great for the championship, I suppose, and the Spaghetti Maldonado, but I was hoping for a bit more spice than this. I thought once we got to 25, we would be really struggling, but let's see. Fronts are still, I believe, yet to hit that. Up to 57. Oh my god, I'm still on 50 diff this whole time. Definitely want to change that. Definitely want to change that, Jesus. Yeah, George Russell isn't lapping that much slower. Not a massive amount. It's the, the guys behind that are. They're going way slower. I think it's because they're all fighting. We're approaching the pit window and you're going to be on mediums. And the gap to the Haas is huge as well, honestly. We're going lap 18. That was nice. Magnus and P4. Yeah, actually. I think he's been P4 for a while, no? Pasta should box in the second. Which I'm hoping means it's going to be in a good position. Because Pasta will get an undercut. So he should, in theory. He might even be able to get George. Wait, why is he out this lap? Why didn't he not. Oh, what's he doing? What are you doing on the strap, mate? Come on, box. Box this lap, please. Stop staying out. You need to get an undercut and get out of DRS. You better be boxing, Pasta. You better be boxing. Yes, he is. Good. Okay, push, push. Gap to the car behind. Seven, Lovely stuff. Five seconds. Oh, Jesus. Well, so far, so good. The gap is humongous. Our normal window, on, uh, the laps for us to box is 18. I'm going to go 19. I'm going to go 19. See how big the undercut is. It's faster in traffic. Oh, he is, isn't he? He's stuck behind uh, Alpha Tauri. Oh, good. I better clear them quick. Yeah, 19, I think. 19. Our, our normal lap is 18. In this lap, in this lap. Push now. No, we'll go one more. We'll go one more. Our attempt's still staying around 100. I hope that's not going to be worse now on the mediums because they're overheating. We could be in trouble. But to be honest, as long as we get trapped position, we're hopefully going to be in control of our destiny. Yeah, I can't believe how slow they are in comparison to four player. I mean, I guess I was driving a realistic performance uh, Williams. It's probably one factor of tyre wear. 
15 seconds to Science. Science is uh, not in our race at the moment, at least. Right, one more lap, one more lap. One more lap in the new box. What tires has Pasta gone on to? Teammate status. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 26.2 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're currently fit. There you go. He's on the medium. One minute, 12.5. So we'll go on to a tyres that will be even fresher. We are boxing this lap, guys. Box this lap. Box, box. Box this lap. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. Give it full beans on this in lap. As Pastor Maldonado sets the fastest lap of 11.2. That's what we want to see. Oh, he's closing that gap rapidly. Oh my god. Hang on. He's not far off George Russell. He's not far off George Russell, is he? Come on, Pastor, get him. If he gets in his DRS, he could be cooking. Fuel is nearly cut down by half, by the way. Crazy. Right, mediums. In we go. Early, oh, that's fine. Right, we should surely retain P1, right? Surely. I don't know if those guys behind fought at all on their outlaps. Okay, go, go, yeah, it's, gonna go. Be, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. There, Looks like a Where? Nice how far behind are they going to be? Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track. So they have closed the gap. But we're now on fresher tyres. Yeah, they massively closed the gap. By like, what? Five seconds or something? What, five seconds? Interesting. Pasta is within DRS and Magnuson is miles behind. So Pasta is on an absolute blinder with that pit stop. And that strategy. I think George Russell might have better tyres towards the end, but as long as Pasta can stay in his DRS, then um, he can still finish second. Imagine dropping back and helping him, Jack. Tyres are warm for the next lap as well. We should go for Pasta's lap then. I, oh, yeah, I don't know why I'm draining battery. Turn down. Let's use no battery this lap. Charge up and go for a fastest lap again. Eleven zero for Pasta. Oh, he's well within DRS now. Right, we're gonna smash that fastest lap. Next lap we do it. Next lap. Nope. Slow through there. Okay, car behind trailing us. Five point zero seconds. Okay. And fast is closing as well. Right, here goes in chat. Let's go for a fast lap. Tons of battery, it's drain it. Oh, good. Oh, I completely messed that up. So should we good? The corners before we're good. He's in battery load, so we should be getting a lot of time. Nice. Drain, 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 drain. Need to get into the tens.
Oh, pass is so close. Oh! Benfica? Taylor Porsche is out in the Williams. Taylor Porsche is out. Decent final for Kane. That's a good lap. We've used up all of our deploy. Jesus. 9.7? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely fastest lap in the bag. Oh, they're fighting as well, guys. Pastor's fighting. Did he get the position? Yes, he did. He's through. Oh, no, he's not. George Russell came back. Oh, George Russell kept the position. Come on. Hopefully, they're not going to pull in Piastri and the other guys. I think they're fighting themselves, though. Passer is so close. This is huge points for Lotus this race because I don't know where Sergio Perez is. I think he is P5. Six, sorry. Oh, Max Verstappen absolutely cooked as well, by the way. He's gone on loads. Surely that's not Max P6. Rival status. They're currently sick. And so the difference is Oh my god, how's he done that? How has Verstappen done that? He's gained loads. He must have done a monstrous undercut. Okay, fair play. Red Bull played a blinder on Strat. They played a blinder. Wow, guys, this is... um. Yeah, not ideal. I wasn't expecting this to be unfolding in this way. I mean, I can't do anything about it. The AI is turned up to the maximum. Unless I start slowing down on purpose and rigging it, but... Not sure how I feel about that one, to be honest. What will Pastor's tyre wear be on now? Because ours is... 710. He'll still be under 25. He might be able to pull a gap on Russell. If he can, he should be able to get that P2 in the bag. But at the moment, Russell will have better tires in and might be able to come back at him. Oh, that wasn't ideal. Make your races. Moving forward, all yeah, mandatory two stops. That's a good shout. Maybe we should do that for Austria, yeah. Then we've actually got to overtake them as well and lose time doing it. Yeah, I do still feel like we're kind of rigging it for, for it to be close, but I mean, maybe I'll do that in Austria chat. Should we just automatically take the two-stop option? I don't know, of course, if we'll be this far ahead. It is track dependent. They are slow around Canada, but I didn't think it would be like this. And I obviously can't turn them up, so. Spin for the memes. 9.7, 10 points. Uh, no. I don't think he's going to drop Russell out of DRS. No, he won't. He won't. Russell will just sit in the DRS. If they keep fighting, there's a chance the Astri and the few behind could get involved too. That's 26 of uh, 35 though, geez. This has been anything but close. I really, I really was worried about Tyler. That's a funny thing as well. I was like, God, I remember four players. This is gonna be, this is gonna be tough. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the the gap between front and rears is a lot less this time. Didn't want me saying 10, 15, 16 on the hards. It's less now. I don't quite know why. I'm not driving any differently. If 
Sky attempts, they're lower. Hang on. Let's keep an eye on these. Maybe, yeah, I think they're lower. I think it's tyres. I think that's what was screwing me on the first sync, guys. Look at the gap now. They're, they're really fighting behind. They really are fighting. The tyres, where they are now, are in pretty much the perfect window. When they're leaning towards mid-hundreds, that's when you... That's when you're starting to get into the danger zone. But where they are now is good. Yeah, they, you've got to get them in quite a pro precise window in this game. That's why you see people uh, break dragon so much. For the esports guys, break dragon so much on their quality laps. Trying to get them into the perfect window. Because it really does make a difference. Yeah, it's definitely tyre temps. They're way lower than the hards. They're like three degrees less. Well, that's really interesting. I don't know why. I mean, we're a heavier, we're a, we're a heavier car, but I don't know why the hards will be overheating more than the mediums. Does that make sense to you guys in chat, Nitro? Like, doesn't make sense to me. I thought the softs would have overheated. Oh, this things. MFD's been really buggy. Fifty-five. Look at the gaps, bro. Jesus. I mean, guys, I'm debating boxing again. Can we box again? Can we box the softs. Just because, why not? Imagine this is a safety car, though. <laughs> I think we should just box again. This is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll box again. Right. So we'll come out in like P6 maybe? See what we can do. Yeah, because why not? Wait, Perfect never mind, we're coming out in P3. There, Brilliant. Alright. Wait, I can help pass them now, can't I? I can help him. Yeah, I want to help him. Try and get George out of DRS. That is the mission. Oh, we need to send this. Nice move. Good job. Oh, he's too quick on the streets. Right, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That should have done the trick, right? Yeah, that's done the trick. Beautiful. Oh, I've got no idea how the AI is this slow. Oh! I need to get past her on the main straight, otherwise my uh, otherwise I'll get cooked if I do it early. Actually, no, I can do it the hairpin. Never mind. Oh my god, so slow! What the hell? 
<laughs> it looks like they're just cruising, man. There's obviously a big tire difference now. The DRS open though, look. It's still coming back. They're so fast. What has the game set their downforce to? They're so low on wings. Right, try and give a good lap. Oh my god, there's so much grip! Woo. We're not going to have as much battery as last time. Look at the gap already! Oh my god. Right, so late on the brakes. Okay, safety car deployed. Safety car's been deployed. Watch your delta. Oh my god! Positive as we catch the pack. Imagine if that had been like a lap earlier. Were they boxed for fresh shelves? I'm obviously staying out. Were they were they box? No. No, they're not. They're staying out. L? Oh, wow, we've got, okay, we've got a safety car right at the end. Five laps of fuel left. Stratco Gilligan. <laughs> should have boxed on the Dan Gilligan strat. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to Why the should I box? I've got no softs. Why, well, just for the memes? The I mean, obviously, tyres are cooking. Surely there's no way we don't win this. Sure, surely there's no way. Pastor, you better freaking hold on to this position, mate. I swear. I worked hard to get you that gap. Now it's gone. That's the only thing I'm worried about is that Pasta might lose out. But if anything, that would help the medium runners, you would think. Just uh, keep the tyres heated, I guess. Safety car will come in next lap. It will come in next lap. It has to leave two laps of racing. So I don't, I don't think, guys, the back markers are uh, going to catch up. I don't think they'll catch up. It'll be, it might, um, yeah, it might be close. I don't know. It'll be close. No, pasta. No. We've got to remember not to do this against the AI. They will just take the position. Oh my god, chat. <laughs> okay. Well, this has been an absolute nothing race. I mean, I guess apologies from a content perspective. It's on 110, and we just haven't had any competition whatsoever. They're obviously very slow here. When we did four player here in the in the albeit, you know, realistic performance Williams. Uh, I guess the car was just so much slower than the others around, but that's why we weren't winning that race. But I thought from the tire wear that we had in that episode, for those of you guys that watched it, I thought we'd have to look out for that and be, be, be wary of that today, but it's not been the case at all. We are getting some, uh, some heat in our tires currently. Uh, and the back markers may just about make it. The, the Alfa Tari there and the Alfa Romeo, they should... Just about make it, actually. Oliver King says, can you talk about front brake bias and differential? What does it do? Yeah, sure. So um, so differential, it, the lower you've got it, the, the, so the more open your diff is. Um, so 50 right here is, is the lowest you can go. And that'll give you more rotation at the cost of stability. Um, the higher the diff, or the more locked the diff is, so if I go 55, it'll give me more, it'll give me, it'll tend to, tend to give me more stability slash more traction at the cost of rotation. So for qualifying, you can do the maths. You, you basically can see that uh, around some of the high, mid to high speed corners, you want 50 diff. And some of the low speed corners, you want 55 for traction. Uh, ask me again about the brake bias in a second, because we're about to restart. Right. Oh, I, you know what? I'm going to be kind. I'm going to wait for these back markers. Oh, I'm going to wait for the back markers. Let's get everyone together. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, back markers. Come on. Come on. 
right there now. Yeah, back marker there. Right, oh, here we go then. Two laps of racing. Come on, Pasta. No DRS, so surely he's going to hold on to it, right? I swear, if he bottles this, he is a fraud. And we're on fresh softs compared to their used tyres, chat, so... Even though the gaps are close now, you're going to watch me just completely pull away in two laps. We've got a lot of spare energy. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, we never did the fast lap, did we? I was going to absolutely destroy it on that other one. Look at the gaps, man. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, look at the gaps, man. It's crazy. It is crazy. There's a, there's a big tire advantage at this point, but still. A little touch on the wall there. I keep wanting to glance at my wheel to check my damage and stuff, but obviously... Okay, mate, keep your <laughs> I've got no screen on it now. Come on, we can beat that lap. Oh, I was slow through that. Pass this to the head. Lovely stuff. Oh! Too deep. Gonna be another fastest lap. Probably should be. No battery to the line. It's still a nine four. Well, chat. That was probably the one of the least exciting wins we've ever gotten. Um, the pace was just absolutely nowhere from the AI that race. Very strange. Our teammate finishes P2. That is a solid result. That's a solid result. It didn't look like he was going to get P2 after that first stint when he was falling back on the soft. So it was clearly a big uh, tyre disadvantage versus the drivers around him. I think Russell was a similar pace, though, honestly. I don't think he was that much slower than Pasta. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, so for, for, for front brake bias, that's probably the biggest thing in this game. I'll give you guys almost like a, a little secret, I suppose. Ideally... At least from my experience, I feel like you want to be as low on the brake bias as you can to not be locking up the rears because it just gives you more. Um, it just gives you more braking. Um, I, someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's the way I understand it. So the lower you are, so then, the better. Um, this but you don't want to lock the, the rears. However, this game, it, the so meta is like sliding or drifting the car almost. The so to be able to do I that, to you need a lower brake bias to be able to kick the rear out. The and then you have to learn to, to maintain the side. That, this is only in quality or time trials. This is not in a race. You don't do that because it screws your tyres. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. And I can't wait to see uh, As what's low next. as possible to not lock the rears, but the higher the brake bias, the less pressure you put on the rear. Uh, no, it makes sense because you, you don't you don't want to go high on the brake bias to put less pressure on the rear. You want pressure on the rears. You just don't want to lock them up. So you want to be like as, as low as you can to not lock up the rears. Um, yeah. And diff diff uh, will make more, a lot more sense to you guys because that, that shouldn't really change between... I, th I think it was the same in F122. Am I getting that right? I'm pretty sure F122 was the same way you'd use like 60 diff, I think, even in the wet maybe. Uh, 55 in the dry, and then maybe even 50 in uh, some dry quali corners. Anyway, guys, that was the first race done. No surprises whatsoever. The AI was so slow then. We did a charity pit stop at the end just because why not? We were so far ahead. And then there was a late safety car. I don't know if it changed anything in the orders. Max Verstappen came from P14 to P6, so... Um, even though he lost a lot of ground on us in the championship, that's actually a pretty solid result. K-Mag P5 is good. 
Also where he qualified. Hamilton a good drive. Perez uh, P9. Sainz had a bad one. Six uh, P6 to P8. Lando had a bad one. P9 to P11. That's surprising. Any any real shocks here? Lance Stroll DNF. Tail push here, DNF. So Lance Stroll must have been what caused the safety car. Yeah, interesting. Well, we won't even watch any highlights of that. We'll go straight on to the next one. We've got Austria coming up next, guys. Um, certainly no surprises there. Let's spend some money and uh, head on into the next one. Yeah, what Astro said. I, I meant the brake bias. You want to be as low as possible before you lock the rears. We should start considering where we can but it, but what I didn't say on the brake bias, sorry, guys, is that that varies per track. Look at Qatar. It's no coincidence when you go to time trials that you'll see the brake bias on like 51 even. Apart from the hairpin, you want to increase that to maybe 53. But Qatar, you're really low brake bias for, for, the, for the reason I said. It's mid, mid to high speed corners. You're less likely to lock your rears. Therefore, you're running low on the brake bias. Um, for a track like Vegas, which is very low grip, Baku as well, um, but Vegas even more so, very low grip circuit and a lot of um, heavy braking zones. Therefore, you want like 56, 57. No lower than 56, really. But again, driving styles can play can play a part in it. Um, yeah. As much as I don't like the drift meta and stuff in this game, I do quite like that there are drivers using different brake biases sometimes. I guess probably not on esports level, but there's a little bit more variation elsewhere, which is which is kind of nice, I suppose. Anyway, um, R and D points. Can we? I don't think we can do anything with these. Not that it really matters at the moment. Um, facility. Should we... Let's put it on arrow. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do arrow to spec three. And then let's skip straight through. So championship standings. We've got a massive lead now. Jesus. That was... That was donezo. That was donezo. Guys, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Maybe we should see how Austria goes, but do we start setting ourselves some challenges, almost Alex Gillen style, if um if it's if it's a bit too easy? Because I wasn't expecting that. Okay, upgrades are all coming off, are they? Yeah, looks like they are. Jesus. Okay, we've had the new uh, no, we're not doing that. Not unless there's... I'll only do it if there's a drift. Just go and put like a chassis upgrade or something. What's not very good. A power unit good? I think a power unit is monstrous. Yeah, a power unit's insane. So let's do a. Uh, let's do this. Ah, screw it. All right, cool. Right, straight into um, straight into Austria then. Straight into Austria. Come on, give us some rain. Spice it up. Give us some rain or something. I want a I want a nice wet race. I put it on approximate. I don't think you can change the weather any more than that. You can't rig it, can you? So. Give us something. Come on. Oh, it's a wet quali. Okay, so it is a dry race. Oh, it's a sprint race for Austria. Oh, I forgot. Does that mess up the tyres? I don't know what that does to the tyres. Oh, it, it doesn't matter because we it's a wet quali, of course. That look... Oh, hey, I tell you what, chat. That's a spicy quali. That's going to be a wet quali, but drying up at the ends. I mean, it's still going to be wet, but it, it, the times are going to keep... Getting quicker and quicker. That's going to be a cool quality session. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to sim practice. Screw it. I'm going to go straight into it, chat. I'm just going to go straight into it. No messing about. Let's get the R and D points if we can. I'm going to have to do durability on it. Don't fail. Brilliant. My God, it costs so much. Oh, it's so much time. All right. Oh, 
Oh, have I messed up? No, I haven't. Ooh, that was close. 13 seconds. All right. All right. So it's going to be a wet quali straight away. So practice one, quali. Practice two, sprint, race. Always a weird order on sprint race weekends. And I do really need to box for wets, guys. I'm bursting. I need to go run before I start this. Uh, oh, actually, I forgot, didn't I? 54% ICE. That's quite close. I think it should still do this race weekend. 20% MG UK, 29%, 53% energy sword, 26, 34. 60 on the gearbox. I think that needs to be changed. I'll remember after quali. But that definitely... The gearbox definitely needs to be changed. Uh, and that's it. And then it's just... I need you to talk and say again. Really, it's just ICE. Definitely gearbox and maybe ICE. 68. Mm. Let's see. Anyway. Uh, right. Let's get into quali then. Points? Uh, oh, what? Do you mean the prediction payout? Or what do you mean? So, in terms of uh, driver standings and championship standings, it was huge. Last race was a 1-2. We, we flew ahead of Red Bull that scored. Red Bull only scored like 13 points or something crazy. It didn't score much at all. Um, <coughs> Max now is 41 points behind the drivers. Mental. If this is going to be another walkover race where we're just so far clear than the AI... Um, I may think of something to do for the future races because we might need to start setting ourselves little challenges at this rate. Uh, we'll see. Either way, we're not going to change it now. We'll, we'll, we'll do it as normal. Um, qualifying is in the wet, so still could stack that in the wall or we'll, we'll struggle. Let's find out. I need to go, I need to run to the bathroom. What's up, Renee? I hope you're doing well, mate. Um, yeah, look at that. That is teaming down. Ah, it's teeming down, and it is drying up indeed. So let's... Um, how slow are the inches? Oh, only six tenths! Oh my god, that's going to keep dropping. It will be inches at the end of the session. 100%. That will be inches. So guys, I'm going to I'm gonna go uh, run to the bathroom, box for wets, and then um, I'll be straight back. The race is dry. I mean, to be honest, we haven't got part Fermi on, but... I don't think the AI aren't going to change setup, so neither will I. I'll, I'll, I'll do part Fermi. So let me just whack on the old setup. Where is it? Uh, we want Austria. Uh, what setup is this like? Is this good? I think I'm running quite low wings. Bungie with the 14 month legend, man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, mate. 14 months. Wow. Mind wow. Blown. Wow. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it, dude. We're, we're just doing Austria. We literally just did, like, the most boring Canadian Grand Prix um, because, uh, yeah, we're, we're at your home place, Bungie, because um, uh, the AI was just so slow. I couldn't do anything about it. We're on 110. They were just so slow. So we kind of... We had a late safety car to spice it up. I'm hoping this race is not going to be the same. I think the AI generally are just slow at Canada and they should be quicker here. That's what I'm hoping. So let's see. Um, I'm just playing with my setup at the moment, chat, and then we're good to go. Then we're good to go. Just make sure that's good. I'm putting a dry setup on, by the way, just in case you guys are wondering. I'm putting on a dry setup. So let's see what this is like in the wet. Let's see. Um, I'm not even going to save that setup. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to keep it. Just keep it to myself. Try it for this session only. Right? Can I pause this so it doesn't start? There we go. All right, guys, give me one second. One second. I'll box for wets, and then we'll start. Okay. This is uh, short qualifying. The Red Bull Ring.
<laughs> Hashtag explode wheel. Oh. Yeah, I haven't played that nugget game, but I don't plan on it. Right, chat. Oh. Please no dead race this time. Let's have a let's have a spicy race. Quality first, 16 minutes of it. Um let's do a quick delta check on these tires, shall we? We'll see uh see what they're cooking. It's not changed. Or slicks. <laughs> Quite a lot slower. Why is this delta not changing? It's supposed to be getting better. I will go out just for some practice, because uh, obviously we haven't driven Austria yet. So I'll get out on the wet tires. Let me just um, put a little bit of fuel in. And then we're good to go. Yeah, let's do that. Shortest track on the calendar this one, guys. So we do want to make sure that we track are not right now. Feel the way around the conditions running a tiny bit of fuel so we can just keep doing lap after lap. And then what we'll do is we'll box for inters at the end, hopefully once we've got a nice feel for the circuit. We are running a dry setup. Um, I assume the AI will do the same. If the AI is slow on the straights, then they may be in trouble here. Let's see. This could be a track there quick app. I guess we'll find out. Thirteen four for Perez. Absolutely no idea if that's a good time or not. Okay, no, he is quicker. That's with battery. Ooh, it's definitely slidey. It's definitely slidey. Tires are cold as well. I'm just going to put hot lap on, to be honest. And I'll just drive around. Hopefully we're not going to get too held up by this uh, Alpha Tari in front. Right, here goes then. First lap. Like I said, we'll see times increase right until the last second. Putting on the power early then, still on the exit. It's very easy to slide this car. He's moving out of the way, nice one. Very deep there. We will obviously go for another run. Put enough fuel in so we can just do a few laps in a row. Fucking very early there, at least it felt like. Decent, felt decent. Uh, across the line, it is a 12 7, it's the fastest lap so far. Yeah, look at the time we found that. That should really be the case each lap. We should be just fine-tuning our braking and throttle input. Yeah, you can see I got it even broke too much there, to be honest. It's getting a little bit more confident on the brake pedal. F2 was decent. Oh, wow, we gained time there as well. Wow. Just a little bit of time through there. Oh, that's wide. It's 
still time in that. We go even quicker, Jesus. Woo! Keep pumping out these laps. There'll be one more after this, I think. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. Yeah, that was smooth, that was smooth. Gonna say that felt good, but we lost loads of time, Jesus. Oh, big snap. That's wide as well. Down on our time. Go again. One more. Made that time back in sector three. The radar showing a clear patch on its way. It's about 10 Good exit. Of this way. Still slow though. This guy's sweating for greater series. Yeah, sweating with my... I'll tell you what, mate. Please give me this amount of downforce in creator series, I beg. This car is a freaking lightning bolt. <laughs> Unfortunately, it did make last race very dead. Very dead. I hope we get more rain, though. Japan was so much fun in the rain. Oh, that was good. That was good. Let's see the 11s. That was smooth, chat. That was smooth. How far ahead of the AI are we? I want to see this. It's going to be inters. That time should be beaten anyway, but I just want to see it. And uh, yeah, maybe it's not a fair comparison, actually, because I only did one lap, didn't they? But look at that. <laughs> 1.4. Bro. So they're faster sector one. That tells me that they probably are running quite low wings. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it is on 110. It's on 110. But um, the car's really... Up. Ben, this is the fastest car on the grid. Um, but then our teammate, like in Canada, our teammate was not close at all. We did a charity pit stop in Canada, guys, because we were so far ahead. And then we got a late safety car anyway. But um, Canada was nuts. I mean, we know the AI is slow there anyway, but that was that was like, <laughs> there was no point driving that, seriously. Pasta's down in P13 with a 2.2. Brilliant. Well done, Pasta. Great time, mate. Either way, that's cooking. Let's get the Inters ready. What's up, Shan? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Saw you uh, live earlier for the, uh, for the Stake F1 team uh, livery reveal. Thoughts on the reveal as well, chat? Thoughts on the livery? It's been really divided. Alex rated earlier, pretty much everyone said they hate it. I actually like it. I don't mind the livery. I, I don't love it. And I think the Williams one looks nicer that was revealed today. But I, I give it like a 7 out of 10. So I think I'm, I think the more I ask, the more I realize I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the minority. But I want to see it under daylight as well, because I feel like with the pale green, that might kind of expose, expose it a bit more. Alex was a fool for firing you. Exactly. Exactly. Of course he was. Of course he was, mate. And he fired me and then torpedoed me at Japan. So I see how it is. We've got a, we've got a grudge now. Teo Porsche. Oh, there you go, guys. Teo Porsche. Oh, he's on Inters, by the way. And he's gone nine tenths off. Yeah, the Verstappen's already gone quicker. The times are tumbling. Oh, look at the difference. Oh, my God. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. We should be going like at least three seconds quicker, right? I'm going to keep the same amount of fuel in the car, maybe? I think I'm going to keep the same amount of fuel in the car and just keep doing laps, because that worked well last time. I just keep dialing in. I don't really care about the tyre wear. We'll just keep dialing into the conditions. So let's get the car out the track. I hate that kind of green, only that like dark green. Yeah, I was saying that at the time, that that is the only thing. I think Saf said it in chat, that it's a pale green, which kind of, in the studio, and, and, uh, in, in that lighting, for me, it looked good. But I was like, yeah, to be fair, maybe in daylight, it's going to look a bit... 
Gonna look at it now, let's see. Problem is they can't go dark just because obviously it's uh, kicks colors. No, I know the, the wheel's very different. I miss the screen. I love the wheel. I love everything about it. It feels so good to drive with, but um, I miss the screen. It's, so it's obviously only temporary. This this won't be. I will have this wheel permanently. I'm 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 keeping this as a backup because it's wireless, so it's perfect. Um, but this is not going to be a permanent. Um, it's not going to be a permanent wheel change. Why is my battery not recovering, guys? Why is my battery not recovering? Have I got something wrong with my car? My gearbox. That's. Why is my Why is my battery not recovering? What's going on here? Okay, so it recovers to 97, but doesn't go anymore. I mean, it's not going to matter, but that's a bit weird. I bet I've got cold tyres for this. Yeah, that should be mid 80s. I love them, man. Get back that ERS, thank you very much. Three minutes 40 on the clock. That's time for uh, a good three or four laps. Oh, Jesus. That was not a good turn one, and we still gained. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. The track is so much quicker already. Not good. My word. This is why we do multiple laps. That was nice. That was hooked. A bit wide there. And there. That would have invalidated if that wasn't stripped. Doesn't matter anyway, because I can go way quicker. 10.4. We should beat that quite comfortably, but... But actually, I don't know. Oh, I don't think I will be comfortable, actually. Will it? Never mind. Okay. It should get quicker and quicker now, guys. Please move. Why is he sending it on my inside? What have I just seen? Okay, we're up. Nice turn four again. Didn't go wide that time. Nice through there as well. Wow, we're getting low through there. That was nice and tucked in. Let's go 50 there for these last two. Could have turned a little bit earlier there, but I think we actually lost time in sector three. Still an improvement, 9.5. We're actually going to run out of battery, guys. I didn't account for that. Can we still get pole without it? I wonder. Oh, this is our last lap anyway, I think. Ah, oh, too slow on the power. Too slow. Oh, 50 dip. That was white. That was very nice. Come on. Getting quicker and quicker. Thirty seconds left in the session. Didn't one fourth. I flipped my green screen then. Yeah, we lost time to there, big time. Getting for the last few ever so slightly. It's only a marginal increase. Oh, wait, we can do one more, then we're going to run out of battery. Yeah, we're running out of battery, chat. 100% running out of battery. 
Can we still make up time? Gazzy's P2! Oh my god. Who let Gazzy cook? Oh my god, the time gain. Bro. Oh, we're running out of battery now. I feel like I'm cooking that corner. Feels so good on traction. Cooks. 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 Still no battery, but we're still up. <laughs> Get out of the way. Oh, we lost a bit of time. It's free. Doesn't matter. It's pole position. It's comfortable. I don't know what the gap was. But... No, we obviously lost a bit of time at the end. We probably had like two... I would say we had about, what, three tenths after that lap with... With battery and with a decent set of three. With qualifying finished, uh, five tenths, Jesus Christ. Of our top three, Cook, well, that wasn't close. Um, but it looked like that was... Uh, why is our teammate P12? Like, it looked like it was just when... Like, whoever went out on track at the right time. Because Gasly's P5 and the Alpine, that is a shock. I don't think the Alpine is that quick in our, in our my team. Uh, any any big shots uh, shocks? Logan Sargent is in the second fastest car on the grid. Second fastest car on the grid, and he's P16. That's Stroll P11 as well. The Aston's underperforming again. Uh, Max Verstappen, our championship rival on P7. Jesus, that's a shocker. I mean, the times are close between these guys. Well, we've just decimated that on Inters. Um, I'll now make sure we've got fresh parts for the race. Let's see what their pace is like in the race. I get the feeling, guys, that they had a lot of straight line speed again. I don't know. I could be wrong. I felt like they did. Let me let me just have a quick look at the sector times, actually. So, Legleg, what did he do? Because I, I think I did a good sector one then on, on that final run. 16.7, and what was mine? 16.9, yeah. I, th I think they got higher top speed. 31.1. 31.9. Eight tenths quicker in sector two. Eight tenths. That's ridiculous. 21-1, Sector 3. That was where we made the mistake, though. 21-1, yeah. So we, we got a bit of time in Sector 3. Yeah, Jesus. So basically, they gain it in Sector 1, and we we gap it in Sector 2. So, interesting. I don't know whether whether this setup's a W or L, to be honest. What is a W is that we're starting on pole, and it's a sprint race. So let's find out how this one goes. Let's advance through. I need to main, make sure I change the, uh, the, the car parts, don't I? Or do I, if it's a sprint? Maybe they'll survive for that for it. <clears throat> Rocket Man, by the way, says uh, run out of battery. You just activated Tesla owner's PTSD. I do get range anxiety, to be fair, when I drive uh, when I drive Carlos, because um, it, it the car says it will do like two hundred and something miles, and it freaking doesn't. It will do like one fifty, or if it's bad, if it's like icy and it's cold, then it will do. It will even do like one thirty. It's uh, it's a lot less than it's claimed. Uh, 35, 63. I think I might do the sprint race on this, guys. It might be a little bit risky, but... I mean, all the other parts should be fine. Gearbox. I want to do it, because we're not halfway through the season, so... Do you need to be a little bit mindful of parts? Not that it matters too much at this point, but anyway. Uh, right, let's get out then, and... Um, well, let's, let's sim this first. Sim this. Give me these give me these points, please. That's all we care about is the points. Yeah, don't do that. Predictions up by the way. Will we win the race? Uh, we got a sprint first. We got a sprint race first. Uh, I don't know whether that's a prediction for the sprint or whether it's for the main race. On current form, you'd be a fool to bet against it, but you never know. You don't know what their pace is going to be like in the dry here. I don't know whether that OP at Austria or not. Hmm. 10 minutes is a long time, don't fail. Oh, where's the point? Have we got all the points already? There we have. Damn. Durability, durability, yeah, let's do chassis. Brilliant, of course it does. Imagine this one passes though. Brilliant. All right, that's cool. 
pretty much got everything we could have out of uh, out of these. Only missed one chassis and uh, two chassis that we needed. Callum Jones, thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Appreciate it. Uh, Rob, by the way, sorry, man. I, I miss you there. I hope, you, I hope you're doing well, mate. Welcome in. Uh, no update on track day stuff, by the way, yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Let me cook. Oh, to be honest, we need Ben to pull his finger out. Get Ben to pull his finger out, and then, we, then we'll do it. Oh, Vince! With 69 legends. Vince, you realise what you've just done? You've, you've not just raided. You've brought 69 people. 69! Ah. Oh. Hey, you beautiful 69ers. Welcome in, welcome in. We're just about to do a sprint race. Vince, Vince, talk to me, mate. I just did Canada. We're on 110 AI. Yes, okay, my car is the quickest on the grid, but bro, they are so slow. Like the AI are, I had to do a charity pit stop at the end of the race and we still like finished, I don't even know, seven seconds clear or something. They, they are so slow. We just got pole on inters by six tenths. I don't quite know what's going on. We're going to see what they're like in the dry, guys. I I'm not sure if AI are good at Austria or not. Um, I haven't done enough my team, to be honest, of driving with AI to know that this year. But um, it's in the dry. They might be quicker. We know that, for example, at Silverstone next race, they're very quick. So let's see. Maybe they've got some, some pace. I hope they do. Otherwise, this one is going to be a bit of a procession. But thank you so much to the Ravens. I appreciate that, bro. What were you doing? Were you doing my team today? I'm, assu I'm assuming you saw the, uh, the livery reveals earlier as well. I Probably like watching them on stream or something. Guys, thoughts on the new um, green Stake F1 team livery? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there because yeah, most people have been saying they hate it. I like it. Seven out of ten. I like it. I think it looks good. At the moment, I will I will change my opinion when I see it in broad daylight. Because if that pale green turns into more of a sickly green, then I might change my opinion. But <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, solid, solid seven. I think it's not as nice as the Williams. The Williams one I, I, I really liked, um, but I thought it was decent. I love the green. Nice to see other colours on the grid. I mean, we. I mean, there is another team in green, to be fair. But I, uh, yeah, I get, I get what you mean. Red certainly wasn't original. Picked up a podium in a hass on one tele AI. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Vince just got P2 in a house. Oh, Monaco, bro. Monaco's ridiculous, man. Monaco's ridiculous. They are so slow. I, I don't know. It's so weird, man. I don't get it. Like I, I did, like I said, I did Canada. And again, they were just so, so slow there. I think it's because they don't take any curb. And then they're also slow in the low speed, I think. Because they were running really low wings at Canada. I don't really understand why. They were just so low on wings. So they were monstrous on the straights. And then they would just lose so much time in the corners. A strategy suck in Monaco too. Oh, jeez. So did you do 100% Monaco, mate? Uh, Tom, thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Uh, Kugonza as well. Alfie, appreciate it, fellas. Welcome in. Alpine needs to go full pink now for the season. Uh, we've all been wanting that, haven't we? I, I always like the Alpine full pink livery. I prefer it to their normal one because they put pink and blue on the car, which is kind of a, a meh combo. Uh, Millie as well. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Oh, you did 100% Monaco. Fair play, man. Fair play. Hopefully, you're not sweating too much uh, from finishing P2 in a house. But, but actually, how far off P1 were you? That would have been pretty sick if you could have won that. That's, that's, that's mad. I was hoping for some um, for some rain in this one. But we only got rain in quali. And that, that was good fun. I really... I, I've been saying it for ages as well, man. Uh, on, a, on a random Crater Series note, like, I was buzzing on Saturday. I was so happy. I wanted it to be Japan. And I was, I was crying for it to be rain. Like, we have not had a wet race in months. Like, so long. And then it was, and it was like, it was, it was fully torrential, full wet. It was so good. I hope we get more, more wet races in the Great Series soon. Lando Cooks. 50 seconds. Oh my God. Okay, fair play. That's, that's insane. Lando. Lando must have just been on, a, on his own strat with like, under no pressure or no fighting. That's crazy. Oh, uh, I, am I going to change my car parts? 66 gearbox? I might risk it for the sprint, you know. I might risk it for the sprint. I feel like it's worth risking. It's only 12 laps. I'm going to full send it. Even if we DNF the sprint, it's not the end of the world. Although, I think that does mean we start the race slower down. Yeah. All right. Screw it. Let's, 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 go, let's go straight in. What's up, Oliver? Welcome in. Uh, Jolian as well. Appreciate the follow. Japan didn't happen. What happened to your race, dude? 
I, I know you said you don't want to talk about it. I, I didn't see what happened to you. I know Tom... I didn't see what happened to Tom in the race, but then he got wing damage, I think, off of um, Skyzy at one point. No. He got wing damage off someone. I mean, I don't know if you saw my incident, Vince, but... I was obviously not happy with my finishing position whatsoever. I just enjoyed the, the wet stint. I was loving it. Um, I got completely killed by Alex Gillen, who did apologize after, but yeah. It was uh, it was not great. It was so unnecessary on lap five as well. Not ideal. Forget pit stops. Forget fuel management. It's pedal to. Yeah, Alex did have a nightmare, but the thing is, is that Alex had a nightmare, but then somehow like didn't give himself damage or like he was he was fine uh, until like the last lap, of course. But that doesn't really count. Oh crap! No, don't take fuel out. Hards or mediums? Mediums. Yeah. Yeah, mediums. Uh, we're not changing the setup. I wanted to keep part Fermi on because the AI would do it. So I've gone... I think I've gone slightly higher on wings. I see what the straight line speed is like. Let's see. Mediums. Good to go. Let's get it. Why is my battery on 95? It's, it's damaged car parts, isn't it? It's like gearbox or something. Yeah, we're stuck on 95. That's okay. I need to definitely to change that. For the race, will change it. How cool is the cam to follow the steering wheel? So this is a replacement steering wheel right now. This is a temporary replacement. My normal one has a screen and looks much better. Um, but I've been having all sorts of wheel issues over the last, what, um, months. Like a long, long time to the point where it literally ruined. I may as well have not turned up to two grade series races. My Monaco and Monza were ruined from wheel issues. So, um... Hopefully, I'll have that wheel back and repaired within the next two weeks, and then it'll look better. But yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Didn't you get engaged this year? Or am I completely wrong? No, Oliver. That that was Alex. Alex and Nell got engaged when they were in Australia. Um, there'd be conversations about that kind of stuff, but so far, I am yet to get a dirty knee. I'm yet to go down on one knee. Pre-results on Thursday. Good luck, Jacob, mate. Good luck, mate. Need to get some temps in these tyres. Really want to be high 90s, to be honest. Although my team, to be honest, you never really know with the with the state of these cars. I've got no idea. Vince is the one that that will that will know this stuff better. I I I don't know whether I should run normal tyre pressures or minimums. I've just gone with normal. So hopefully no tyres overheating. But at least we've got a sprint race to trial that. And then if it goes wrong, we can fix it for the main. We go 55-55 at the start. And how are we so far ahead when I've been brake dragging the whole time? What's no going on? Of rain for the time being. Conditions so we start on pole for the second race in a row. Let's hope they're going to be closer on this one. I typically lower them a couple clips, clicks, but track it. Okay, okay. Interesting. I probably should have gone lower on the fronts then. I don't think the fronts are too high. We'll find out. We'll find out. I, I don't think the temp should be should be going above 103, 104 here. There we go. Need a good launch. That's pretty good. Oh, my God. What? How have we just gained a second into turn one? What have I just seen? Oh, my God. What have they just done? <laughs> no, 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 no. What has just happened to turn one? What has just happened to turn one? What is this? How do I how do I switch to how do I switch to Leclerc? What's the oh my god? Oh, I changed my wheel when I did the buttons. What's button twenty? No! Oh, I flashbacked! I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! How do I how do I change my camera? Oh my god! Is it? Oh, chat! I don't even know. I don't even know. How do I? It's it's not it's not that one no I I don't know yeah keyboard yeah let, let's just do that that makes a lot more sense doesn't it there we go that's a lot easier all I wanted to see was what on earth happened to turn one because this Alpine looked like he fully sends it so there, there's me off in the distance already we gapped a second into turn one I don't even know how that's possible Austria and then. Alpine goes three wide into turn one. Oh, he gets contact from the Red Bull. Okay. 
Four wide! Four! <laughs> They've gone four wide into turn one! Oh my god! These absolute psychopaths! Four wide! Holy crap! Okay, yeah, no wonder the Alpine got... And he just... He just stops. He gets shoved out wide and then just slows down. So the Ferrari's now on the lead. Jesus Christ, what a crazy turn one. Oh my days. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, this is this is Lotus. This is a Lotus uh, My Team career mode. If you want to see the, 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 the sexy livery before we continue, look at this. No, this is not going to... How do I rotate the camera? Oh my God, this is so scuffed, man. What's the What's the key? What's the key? Don't know the key. Never mind. Right, never mind. But anyway, you get the picture. There it is. Where's our, wait, where's our teammate? Where's our teammate? Maybe he can show the livery. Okay. Pasta's just... Pasta Maldonado is just chilling. We are Spaghetti Maldonado, nephew of Uncle Pasta. And this is him just cruising around in... What is it? This is definitely lower than P10. I don't know where he is, though. He doesn't look like he's cooked at the start. Anyway. Let's uh, let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> is it sim damage? Yeah, it is sim damage. Oh my god, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, they should have damage, actually. It is, I'm pretty sure it's sim damage, yeah. Leo, yeah, why are you inviting me? Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the internal combustion engine. Be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's a great message. <laughs> The Leclerc, Perez, Piastri, Lando. Interesting. I think Sector 2 is where they're going to be slow, isn't it? And let's see what they're like on the straights. Oh, wide there. That would have been a warning. Oh, my God. Look at the time we gained, though, through there. Leclerc. Should be coming back fast on the straights. I should gain you in sector three then. Let's use overtake right, and there. some of this energy. Right, let's see then. Perez looks like he's fighting with Piastri. That could free up Leclerc to go on the charge and hunt us. Good turn three that. Although we might have, I might I think I broke way too early. The player gained loads under breaking. Very tricky to get the braking in these cars, chat, because they're so much quicker. Lord Doro, thanks for the raid, welcome in. Are you gonna stream? Lovely sector two there, hooked up nicely. Uh, the AI is definitely closer here. I know we've got this gap, but that's from the start. They're quicker for sure. Leclerc's closing. Okay, DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Better turn one. I am barely pulling away with full battery dump. Where's Pasta though? He's at the back of the train still. The He's not cooking. Bro, what's going on with the raids? Well, hey, yeah, chill, guys, chill. Hey, what's up, Matt? Hope you're doing well, bro. What are you doing, my team today? What are you up to? <laughs> Three raids as well. We had, we had Vince before. It's been nuts. It's been a while since I've been live on a on a Monday. So good to see you, mofos. Welcome in, Matt. Hope you're doing well, mate. Thanks for the raid. We need to the threes of a sprint race on medium. What's going on? What are these times? What am I seeing? I'm in full drain of the battery at the moment. The Claire is absolutely flying though. Oh, Verstappen's up to P4. Interesting. Turn three, we gain, a, like, a chunk of time on the AI. We're getting, like, three tenths. 
when we actually hook it up properly. How can we not raid this beautiful face and beautiful hairline? Don't forget that. You raid for the hairline. Come on. Be honest. Oh, okay. This is a spicy map. That was a nice section two. Easy does it, cutting that corner too much. It's losing time on the exit. Oh, give me a three, damn it. <laughs> w incoming, bro. This is. Guys, if you're tuning in, a warm welcome, firstly. This is our Lotus My Team career. I'm driving as nephew Spaghetti Maldonado to Uncle Pasta, who is back in, like. Where is he? Let's, let's check, actually. I think he's in, like, P10 or something. Wait. Where is he? Teammate status. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 0.8 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Time last lap was a 1 minute 07.2. What? I couldn't see him on the on the track map. Is he that close to other cars or something? I can't see him, chat. Oh my god, I can't. He's behind an Aston Martin. Has he got damage or something? He might have damage. He might have damage. Tubbs, by the way, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Appreciate it. Gap to your teammate behind is 17.1 seconds. All right, Leclerc's gaining now. Ty oh, Tyway is good this time, unlike Canada. What are the temps? Oh, temps might be low, if anything. That's very low then. Let's keep an eye on them in sector two. They're pushing 96 on the front. We want to notch them up a bit. Nice rotation as we turn four. The car feels so good. I know Leclerc's gaining. I'm going to manage the battery. I think we'll have a closer race though, guys. I don't think it's going to be like Canada. We are on 110 AI. We are the fastest car in the grid as well. Um, but this is going to be closer, I think. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, the tyres need. We need more pressure than the tyres, for sure. That's not going to be helping our grip. They're not terrible, but they need to be. I think they need to be around 100. When we use battery, we've just about got the straight line speed. So they are definitely running lower wings than us here. But that seems to suggest that if we're in DRS or slipstream and battery, we should still be able to overtake. If that situation happens in the race. Oh yeah, engine wear, you're right. Yeah, engine wear is a thing as well. That is a thing. I don't know how bad the, uh, the gearbox is at the moment. Wait, did I just come oh, past it? That's the way, 67 on the gearbox. Uh, gaining and gaining and gaining. We've still got five laps to go. He may well get inside our DRS. Okay, okay, Joe Guan Yu's out. Joe Guan Yu is out. Interesting. No safety car though. We had a safety car at Canada when Lance Stroll retired. We had no safety car this time around. Safety car is on. We are on simulation damage as well, guys. Um, and red flags. I believe red flags are on increased as well. Yeah, I'll do seventh for that penultimate corner. That felt okay. 1.9 to Leclerc. He has closed that gap by about two tenths. 
We really do need to start managing that gap now because he is getting closer. Look at the gap to uh, Lando Verstappen. I think they're just fighting constantly. Okay, clear. Still yellow flags. Wait, why is there yellow flags? Why? Why are there yellow flags? What's going on? Why are they following me around? Oh, Leclerc's out! Oh my god! Leclerc's out! <laughs> the game just like doesn't want us to have a challenge today, does it? What is going on? Why can't we have this Lucky Crater series? Bro. Alright, Leclerc's gone then. <laughs> See you later, Charles. You're on the Alex Gillen luck. Yeah, I just wish I could get the Alex Gillen luck in a in a different session, mate. That's, that's the only thing I beg for. <laughs> well, for Leclerc's sake, hopefully he's got that out of the way for the race. If he DNFs in the race as well, then Jesus. That's unfortunate. Yellow flag. That, of course, is the car that Hamilton is getting for next season, so... I can't wait, though, for Hamilton to be on the radio asking what Plan F means. Unless he brings Bono with him. If he brings Bono with him, then he's saved. 100 million euros a year. What's, uh... That is the most... That is the highest pay on the grid, isn't it? Who's the... What's Verstappen on? Is Verstappen close to that? I know Verstappen's contract was mad as well. I don't know what Leclerc's on. I don't think Leclerc's close to either of them. Oh, Verstappen's on like 60, 70. 75 mil. Yeah, because I know, I think they said like the, because Verstappen was like an eight year deal, wasn't it? 75, Jesus, yeah. Mental. I'll be happy with a mill chat, to be honest. I feel like we should... Uh, I feel like, guys, I feel like me and 74 others in chat should put a pitch together for Max. Be like, look, help a brother out. And Lewis as well. Get even more. Me and 99 others for Lewis. One more lap. One more lap. We're, we're obviously not struggling now. We can just coast. I don't know what's happened in this race. Leclerc has been put in the mud. Lewis will bring those of merch sales in though. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like the, it's not a bad deal for Ferrari. It's a crazy amount of money, but they're Ferrari are only going to gain from it. Honestly, Lewis's commercial reach will be ridiculous. Ferrari are already the, uh, you know, the biggest brand and um, the best for marketability. With Lewis, it, it, you know, it, it goes tenfold. Wasn't it like their, didn't their shares jump by like $7 billion on the day of his announcement? <laughs> so he's already made them $7 billion. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Honestly. It's the same when like, you see the likes of Messi or Ronaldo, you know, if they would, if like Ronaldo would go to, I don't know. Yeah, if he would, if he would go back to Manchester United when he did. You know, would have done the similar done the similar thing to United shares. It's amazing what those that that high profile of athlete can do. Like same with like LeBron James, someone like that. Absolutely bonkers. Brings across their whole following. Well, chat, that was a very intense high adrenaline race. Oh, Brilliant. So <laughs> Ferrari shares went from 320 to 360. That is, that is absolutely mental. 40 pounds a share. Crazy. Do you have assists on? No, I run no assists, Nate. I run no assists. <clears throat> We're on no assists, 110 AI. We are using flashbacks for this, um, but I'm trying... Well, I did technically use a flashback that race, but not, I didn't intentionally. I gave myself a worse turn one. Um, but that was a crazy start. They went. F so the AI just went four wide into turn one. I kind of want to... Can I see it on the highlights? It's going to show me. 
Just show me the turn one, please. That's all I want to see. Bro, look at this chat. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Four wide! This is what these these guys did into turn one. What is... <laughs> look at the state of that. Look at this. The Alphine on the outside is like... Oh, yeah, I see you guys. You three on the inside. Let me just turn across and take the Apex. Yeah, that's going to go well. Oh, it's behind my camera. Brilliant. Sorry. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Where is it? Hang on. Let me get rid of this. Bro, look, chat. Look, look, look. The, Al the Alpine here. The Alpine is like, no, I'm just going to take the Apex. Got the outside line. All he needs to do here is hang around the outside and he's cooking. He's cooking into P2. It's Gasly. Uh, the game still says he's in P2 there, even though uh, Leclerc is slightly ahead. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, so... Um, <laughs> four wide into turn one. Whatever must have got damage here. I don't know whether it was Gasly, because he was nowhere in the race. But he obviously dropped back because of this. Uh, I can't switch driver, so unfortunately you can't see the exit. But the Alpine ran straight onto the curb and just stopped, basically. You can kind of see it in the background. Wait, what? That Guys, 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 guys. This was how good the sprint race was. The sprint race highlights. This is how good it was. Here we go. Lap one. We fly out of turn one. Here we go. What's going to happen in this one? Is it going to be a juicer? Oh, it's over. There you go. That was, that was the sprint race. <laughs> oh, right. The, this race should be, should be better than Canada, though. It should be better than Canada. Um, in theory, it should be better because at least Leclerc was gaining in the race. I think they're going to be quicker here. <clears throat> Porsche prices tanked 80% on the day Lewis news broke. Wait. Ben, are you trolling me about 458 prices? Yeah, I don't know whether you're trolling or not. Is that actually legit? The prices shot up just because of Lewis's announcement? Oh, you mean just... Oh, nah, trolling. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I know you monitor that closely. That's why I believe you. GT3 in the mud. Bro, the GT3 is such a nice car, man. It's gone back up. That is my that is my dream car, GT3. I mean, I mean, I say dream car. Obviously, like you know, yeah, you got your multi-million pound Bugattis and stuff. I'm talking about like semi-realistic dream car, you know. <clears throat> um, Lennon, by the way, thanks for the follow. Welcome in Dragonflies as well. I appreciate it. Welcome in, guys. Uh, we've got a 50% race at Austria here. This is our Lotus My Team, and here are the championship standings. I'm not going to lie. We are just constantly stretching the gap. I said at the end of Canada, if this gets ridiculous, if we are just gapping the AI from now on, um, I'll start coming up with some challenges. So in Canada, we did a charity pit stop um, just onto softs at the end, and there was a late safety car. We'll do this race, and then I'll go back to the drawing board and have a think. It would, it would depend on kind of the performance of the AI and where we're at in this race, so... Um, yeah, if it's if it's if it's not good enough, then um, we'll come up with some challenges, maybe for the for the future ones. Last to first, we could try last to first for this. That could be spicy. Thoughts on last to first, chat? We could we could try last to first, hundred and ten. Oh wait, oh my god. No, I need to change this though. That's for sure. I'm definitely changing my engine now. Sixty one is not going to be good for a whole race. Absolutely not. So I think we'll need to take another power unit at some point in the season. Or we need to work on our durability. This can all stay. Energy store's already getting scuffed, so I'll switch that. Uh, gearbox can go as well. Yeah, okay, let's, take, let's do that. I think that's good. I think that's good. <clears throat> take new engine. Uh, oh, actually... Yeah, that's the obvious solution, isn't it? Let's let's help ourselves later on in the season. I think we'd need to anyway, with how quickly we're going through parts. That's the that's the good thing about scuffing durability. We're going to start from the back of the grid, guys. We're going to start from the back of the grid. If I'd have done this for the sprint race and finished like P5 in the sprint, would I be starting the race in P5? I would, wouldn't I? I mean, I don't really mind, to be honest, but I think I may have scuffed that. I may have scuffed that. Oh, there is a pole up, by the way, guys. I mean, it's kind of redundant now. I'm going to take I'm going to take the fresh engine. The penalty applies to them. Oh, okay. Okay. So it still take, even if I did it for the sprint, 
Wait, so even if I put a new engine on for the sprint, it would give me my quality position and then I'd start from the back of the race. Interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. Hope you like the poll. What is it? I mean, we, we are going for the back. Yes, no, Ben Dale. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm voting Dale. Done. <laughs> All right. Well, we're we'll starting from the back, chat. If you if you vote no, then you're in the muds because we're starting from the back. Uh, nothing else to do. We've got a fresh power unit in. And yeah, let's get straight into it, I think. We know it's going to be a dry race. No weather changes in this, sadly. We do have Silverstone coming up next, um, which I hope that's going to have some rain in it, at least. Last time we did... Oh, my God. We had an insane race at Silverstone. I think it was I think it was last season. I remember I won that race in the wet in, like, a car that was, like, one of the back markers at that point. It was nuts. <clears throat> Dale on top. How Ben likes it. <laughs> He's not wrong as well. Uh, Rocket Lizo, by the way. Sorry I missed you in YouTube chat. Welcome in. This is Career Mode Indeed. This is Team Lotus, and we are driving a Spaghetti Maldonado with Uncle Pasta as our teammate. Um, we're cooking in the championship. We're also cooking in the driver's championship. I can't really do anything about it. The car is the quickest on the grid. We're on 110 AI. I can't increase it any further, obviously. So um, we might come up with some challenges moving forward. However, this race might be different. They looked quick in, in the sprint race, so let's see. Let's see. Um, I think I want us to go a little bit, a little bit higher on tire pressures. Maybe just, maybe just a touch. P22. Oh yeah, what type? I think I think this is probably the race for soft medium, isn't it? Because then we go for the undercut. How many are starting on soft actually? Yeah, actually that's the point. How many are starting on softs? Oh my god, there's loads. Absolutely loads are starting on softs. Only five drivers are starting on mediums, chap. Um, what's the strat then? What do, what do we think for strategy? What do we think for strategy? Only 1.5 laps over on fuel? Seriously? Is that legit? That can't be right. Guys, I don't know what to do for strat. Um, I might go mediums. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Medium soft is not a play. Medium soft in F122 would have been good, but not, not this one. Uh, let me change my tyre pressures real quick. Because they are definitely scuffed. Uh, let me go on to... Mm. Uh. Yeah, I don't know, honestly. Change my diff for the race. Cool. Okay. Um, I've upped my tire pressures a little bit. We'll see how we get on with this. <clears throat> okay. Cool. I think I'm going to go soft, chat. Soft, mediums. Do the same as the AI. The one you think is the worst should be the strap based on AI performance. No, but the AI is quicker here for sure. It Canada, I think, was an anomaly. They, they are also... I'm, I am quick here, yes, but I think Leclerc was gaining in that sprint. At least he looked like it. It's definitely not a two-stop, is it? I'll double-check, but it can be, surely. Pit stop's too long around here. Yeah, no, it's way too long. Could do it, though, potentially. <laughs> could could do it. But starting from the back, that's going to be tough. Uh, now nah, let's do soft-medium. Let's do soft-medium. Start on the softs. We'll have another set as well, because it was a wet quality, so we've got loads of, loads of tyres spare. Um... And I'll go one lap early. Lap 14 is when we'll go, guys. So we'll go for a one lap undercut on some of the drivers around us, yeah? So let's go for that. 14 laps on the soft, 22 on the medium. The medium tyres at the end will be screaming. They'll be begging for mercy. They are going to be like... I imagine they're going to be like 60s for wear. They'll be very high. So, okay, let's go. Uh, fresh power unit. Start for the back. 14 laps. Uh, fuel looks okay to me, I think. And tyre pressures have been increased. So let's start the race. Let's go. Uh, what new wheel are you getting? Uh, I'm not going to say what wheel it is. I will only say that it's cooler than a GSI Hyper P1. It's even sicker. That's if it arrives at this, at this point. 
I'm waiting for my old wheel back. That, that, that'll be the next step, guys, is to get my my last freaking wheel repairs. That's what I want. Temperature into the tyres and brakes. We need to keep the engine cool, though, so don't go too high with the revs. Uh, Toasty, thanks for the follow as well. Welcome in. Lap length, pit length, too high. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, like, yeah, not only is it a really short lap, but then um, the, the, the pit lane is like you go, you lose the speed through the final corner. And then it's down a uh, flat out DRS straight. So the time loss in the pits is is, uh, is fairly big. But the type of track this is, tire advantage does gain you a lot of time. I remember this from Grade Series. Gained a no lot of times in fresh tires. No rain expected for the time being. Will be above a thousand degrees on the tire warmer. That's why I always take third gear around forty percent brake input. Aim for above a thousand, and the tires will heat up really nicely. Yeah, look how quickly they go up. Lovely stuff. Got the tires to high nineties, and we'll be cooking. Literally. Why not go soft hards? We could do. We could go soft hards, I suppose. Don't know how the hards are going to perform, that's the only thing. Especially if we need to overtake and make moves. I think it, it, it might be different if we are holding trap position, maybe. 55, that'll do. Alright, let's go. Let's get a good launch. Oh, Leclerc's at the back with us, by the way. I've only just realised. Leclerc's starting at the back. He obviously DNF'd in, in the sprint and had to take a new engine then, clearly, with us. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's see if we can catch our teammate up who I'm not even sure where he's starting, but. Oh, wait! Chat, look at the trap map! The Williams is gapping the field! The Williams is gapping everyone! <laughs> he's nearly a lap up! Come on, the Williams! Let's go! It's huge! What a performance! What a performance! The Williams is cooking! <laughs> What position is he? Oh, for God's sake. Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. Who is it? Who is it? Where's the Williams, damn it? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. Bro, these freaking gloves, man. <laughs> is that is that Logan? Look at it, he's just chilling. Is he is he going normal race speed? He's doing a formation lap. <laughs> he's going formation lap speed. Brilliant. Very good. F123, you've outdone yourself again. Beautiful stuff. He flies into sector three. He's got nice and toasty tires now for sure. He's done two formation laps. What's your like disqualify me? Something's, something's going to go horribly wrong, surely. There he comes, flying around the flying around the last corner. Where is he? There he is. Oh, hello! Hi! Oh, is he just going to... Okay, never mind. Cool! Great! He got an extra lap to warm up his tyres. Happy days. Here we go, then. Don't shove me into the wall, you pleb. Send. Got to be done. <laughs> that's a. That's for making me wait on the formation lap, Albon. Karma. No, 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 Bottas. Chill, 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 chill. No, there's a car on my inside. Wait, oh my God, he just sent it like I did at turn three. 
You guys, you guys like that move at turn three? <laughs> the move at turn three was fine. The move at turn one wasn't. <laughs> Did I get damage from it? Somehow on sim damage, I didn't. But hey, we take it. That was a horrible. Can't stop calling. We need to get onto these guys now. And stop running wide. I will need to drain my battery, otherwise I'm going to be vulnerable. Botley Sauce feel absolutely magical. Yeah, let these guys burn battery in front. Okay, Jesus. Yep, cool, go slower. My God. If I hadn't have gone for the move then, I would have broken my wing on his rear. Okay, and so work. slow into Great turn three. Pass. Had a little look just in case they did the same thing. Do your brakes work? Yeah, they work fine, mate. What do you mean? I'm good. I made the corner. Hang on, Ben. You of all people. I don't want to hear it. Come on, come on, come on. Throw. Get in the bin. We call that the old Benjamin squeeze on the penultimate corner. My mirrors don't work. That's Dirk. Okay. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah, that one was too late. I couldn't go max brake pressure then. Carries with a nice little slide there. Get him on the switch back. Oh, these softs are cooking, by the way. They feel so good. I increased my tyre pressures. And that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. That's where we want to be. Interesting. Car feels better to drive as well. I mean, it'll feel different from the sprint, so I don't know if that's comparable. Oh, that's quite late into turn one. Right, we should gain time into turn three. Please don't send it. Look at that. We gained so much time. Why do we gain so much into turn three? We literally just pulled seven tenths on Perez, although he might have sent it. Him again. Nope. This time we'll go around the outside. Where's our teammate? Our teammate should be cooking, hopefully. He's in P4. Not bad, not bad. So that 4 of 36, we're up to P8. might need to burn on this rate. They are very fast on this rate, which we already knew. This is why, oh yeah, no, I don't need to burn because I gained loads of time to turn three. Let's just nail our braking here on the 100 board. Oh my God. I'm definitely braking at the right point. Jesus. I'm getting so much time through there. Oh, these guys are fighting. The leader's a fight. Oh, no, that's not the leader. Wait, you're letting P1 get away. What are you doing? You idiot. Oh, and two. Never mind. They're top two. There's McLaren and a Red Bull fighting. There's a lot of fighting going on. I think that's also helping us. Run wide there. I need to stop doing that. Didn't mean to be in uh, sixth gear either. Alright then. They're gonna go south by the time to turn. We need to go extra slow now. 
extra slow because we can get both of them if we do this right. Oh, I see. Oh, we can still get both of them. Make contact with the back of the Mercedes. Want to avoid that and get the cut back. You can see that coming a mile off. We're having to P5, chat. <laughs> P5 in, what, less than six laps? <laughs> I'm surprised there's been no damage for any of the cars so far. Hey, Fabio, my guy, legend, bro. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. We've had so many raids tonight, it's nuts. Haven't been live on a Monday in a while, but I hope you had a good stream, man. We're currently um, wondering what we can do with the AI. I've taken an engine penalty in this race, start off in the back. But there's nothing more I can do to make this more competitive, but the AI are just... They're quicker here, but bro, Canada was so scuffed. Can we get a double move here? Yes, we can. They'll switch back on two. Okay, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Up to P3. And that was our teammate. <laughs> Thank you, Fabio. Welcome in, bro. Welcome in, guys. Hope you had a good one. What was Fabio doing tonight? These two are fighting as well. We're ahead of a DRS train now, so we need to get onto them. Not ideal, not ideal. Dipping the right tire in the gravel there. Chris Paul, thanks for the follow. I want to see the normal GV moves. These are the normal GV moves, mate. This is what happens when you... Uh, Remove Alice Gillen from the race. <laughs> I can actually drive. <laughs> oh, they go side by side to turn one. That's absolutely fantastic. So what we want to see. Is that going to give DRS? I'm dumping everything. Come on, come on, come on, Piastri. Come on, come on, come on. Was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, never mind. We gained so much time. Passes are actually dropped from DRS as well. Green flag. Trap pens are going to be a mess this Saturday. Yeah, we'll see. I think people these days are very good at avoiding penalties in Creator Series, regardless of the track. But we'll see. If anyone can get a three-second penalty, Fabio can. I believe in Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jay, uh, Dale. Dale's like, hold my beer. <laughs> oh, Bottas is out. Safety car. Safe. I, he's gone off on the same part that he did in the Mercedes when he went grass cutting, lawn mowing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tires, tires are definitely getting somewhere now. Yeah. Okay, I can feel that. I'm going to say completely wide then. I have no grip. If we get a good launch off turn three like that. Jesus, man, it's ridiculous. If we nail the traction like that, nice we're, we're cooking. Caution, caution. Yeah, that's the that's the boss ass yellow. We have absolutely no battery now, so we need to stay in for Sappen's DRS. And his tyres will be better. He should be stronger in sector two, but we're running more downforce. So for as much as the Sappen's tyres are better, I think we can just about keep that gap the same just because we're higher on wings. We're slow on the straights. But if we keep DRS, that'll negate the speed difference. Will it? Oh my God, he's still pulling away and I've got DRS. He's still pulling away. Good turn one. Yeah, if we can nail turn three, we should be comfortably in his DRS, and then we'll get some slipstream. That'll help. Look at that, he's pulling away. We've got DRS, it's crazy. That's not a good turn three. And yet we still gain. Tony Farts, love the name. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Uh, Ferrero as well, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is 110, yeah, yeah, this is 110 AI. I can't do anything more than, than, than what we're doing now, guys. We're going to need to set some challenges, I think, in the future episodes, because these guys are not cooking. Oh, God, that's wise. Sean, thanks for the fry, mate. Thanks for the seven month. Appreciate it, man. 
Legends. Right. We, we can just chill with Verstappen's DRS. Our tyres are worse. But the fact that, you know, we can recharge the battery and he's not even pulling away. Oh, I just put 60 on the diff. Don't want that. Also don't want to cut turn one like that. Turn one Austria in F122, you can absolutely abuse it and you should to gain time. This game, the curve behavior is so different, you have to avoid it. Otherwise it yeets your car into Narnia. All right, chat. 10 laps. Ten and a half laps is uh, what it took. Interesting. And if that's the case, I no longer want to box early. I'd rather they get the undercut and me be on better tyres, to be honest. Otherwise, they'll just stay close to me in the corners and have me on the straights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we could do a two... Yeah, screw okay, it. Let's do it. Let's do a two stop. Another challenge. Two stop. We box now. Oh, it's too early. Never mind. All right. Another challenge. We do two stop. Uh, two stop is definitely slower. So, on to mediums, and then we'll do softs at the end. Good, that was good, that was good. Go down to P16. Right, we've got some fresh air as well, lovely. We might not get held up too much. We will close this gap to Sergeant very quickly, but... Hopefully it's not too bad. Test the pit crew, yeah, exactly. Make sure they're on their toes, Antics. I agree. Oh dear, that's wide. Tires are cold. I keep mashing different things on the MFD. I, I'm aware I just put the front wing up one click by accident because I'm just. It's quite sensitive to right joystick, and obviously it's a new wheel. The fuel's not burning at all. I started. I think I started one and a half laps over, and I'm like 1.8. I swear. Right, let's start closing. Uh, 50% race this is, 50%, 36 laps. We did short qualifying and a sprint race before. We got pole by six cents in the wet. And we won the sprint race after Leclerc DNF towards the end. Okay, now we're going to get hold up. Let's send this, we got the grip. Never mind. You never know with the slower back markers. Why is why is Bro defending so much? <laughs> why? Love that AI. <laughs> bye bye for your DRS then, Sergeant. Or oh, actually, maybe not. But you're an idiot. Typical Aston Martin driver. Yeah, very good. Oh. It's nudging through the final corner. I am going to send this. Because we might be able to get Albon at the end of the straight. Yeah, we can. Oh, Hulkenberg, sorry. Let's go on there. Bro! <laughs> what am I seeing? What is that defence? Winning this race might be tough, I can't lie. And you're in P13. When's the sap and boxing then, chat? When do we reckon? These mediums will need to do 14 laps, I think. I think we would box on lap... What was it, 25? Yeah, we would box lap 25 for the ops on lap to go back to softs. Oh, that's helped us. Right, if we juice our battery on this next straight, we should be able to get Strell as well. Gonna go the 
defensive, isn't he? <laughs> I love the AI. They make no sense. Why are you sending that, you pleb? Yeah, that was good. But, like, lost you some nice sound, didn't it? Go to hards for the next stop. Ready? I feel like it will be close as it is now. I don't know. Obviously, we'll be ahead of a sap when he does box, but then we'll have to do a whole other pit stop. Oh, that's a bit wide. Nearly into the threes. Okay, we're up to P5 now. Yeah, that fresh air has helped a lot. 6.5 to Russell. Oh, we've got no DRS. I wonder how far ahead the Sapon is. He must only be like 15 seconds or something. Because when he boxes, he'll get he'll start getting time on me. And I need to gain it all back on the surface. No assist, no assist, uh, Dario. Yeah, this pace is nuts. <laughs> uh, is that Marlo? Thank you for the follow, welcome in. Oh god, forced to that final corner was not it. Okay, there's the other undercut. 10 seconds! Holy crap! The pace is nuts! We are reeling in Verstappen! <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, we're on 110, obviously. We're, we're on the quickest, we're in the quickest car on the grid as well, though. But our teammate, sadly, is not performing as we want him to. But look, it's uh, turn three. Turn three out uh, of uh, this whole track is ridiculous. Like, even on the same tyres, we were gaining, when we nailed it, we were gaining like six tenths on traction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're actually the slowest car on the grid. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. Eight point nine, Max is in. That was nice. Bye, Max. Right, chat. We need to box in seven laps. Seven laps, and it's going to be spice. So now he should start closing in on us. Whatever the gap is when he comes out, he should start closing it. Unless he gets undercutted, he could be in trouble. Is he going to keep that sp that position? He's in trouble if he gets undercutted. He will lose a lot of time. It's very close between Verstappen and Lando. Lando will get DRS and Verstappen's got cold tyres. So let's see. I expect Verstappen to hold that position though. Gap is currently 10.2. So keep an eye on that gap, guys, because he should keep closing in. Yeah, Max is on hard. That's an interesting call. Is that the right call, chat? Was he on soft before, guys? Did he not go from soft to hard? I think he did, right? Is this your favourite circuit? No, no, no Silverstone's my favourite. Silverstone's my favourite. We're racing here for uh, Crate Series, actually, this um, Saturday. So the, fa the fact that we're doing it in my team is quite nice. Even though I'll be used to an absolutely crashed car and then the multiplayer car will come along and it'll be like, oh, feels understeering. We've got turn three nailed, though. Yeah, Max is closing. Max is closing. So it'll be like this until we box. That makes sense for the tyre difference. But then we should be absolutely flying on softs. Like, more than we were on mediums. Right, then you're going to see... Oh, then you're going to see some threes. 
keep running wide and losing time though, that's not helping. Oh, what I just say? Hit that curve and went miles wide, that's gonna cost us a few tenths there. Yeah, yeah, Zela, uh, Xella, <laughs> Alex, mate. Um, I think you know I had a complete disaster with my wheel, dude. It's, it's in Italy getting repaired at the moment. Um, so I, I went out and bought, like, I, I panic bought. I saw this at four in the morning, messaged a guy on Facebook, like, hey, I'll buy it off you. Are you free? And he was like, yeah, cool, no worries. Come over whenever tomorrow. So I just drove straight up within, like, 12 hours and went and picked it up. <laughs> It was the biggest, like, panic impulse purchase ever. That was, uh, that was what, last week? So the wheel, so the, the, the wheel screen will look janky for now because obviously the wheel's a different shape and you'll be able to see the in-game wheel over the top. But I will get my old wheel back. In whatever form that is. No Tom on Saturday night? Uh... Is Tom not racing this one? Oh, yeah, he said he's, he said he's, oh, of course he's, um, yeah, 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 uh, San Francisco. I keep talking and running really wide. Yeah, uh, Tom's in San Francisco. He's, uh, gone on holiday again. Bro, 2.1 laps over. How are we gaining fuel? This makes no sense. How? We burnt so much in Canada. This car is thirsty. How are we gaining fuel? And we're all on an aggressive strat as well, which requires more throttle. At the moment, though, chat, we are probably going to come out behind that cluster of cars with a Mercedes in. So I'm saying that's like P9 or something. And then we're going to have to really charge for 11 laps. I'm not sure if we can win this. Genuinely, I don't know if we can. This will be sweating, though. This is a good challenge. We started last. And now we're going for a two-stop. Alright, come on. 22. So we box in three laps. Oh, God. Stop going that wide. Oh, my God. Verstappen. Come on, Lando. Fight with him. Lando, fight with him. Come on. Come on. Fight with him. Fight with him. Send it. I believe in you, Lando. You can send it. How close is he? Three tenths. Oh, he's going to send it. He's going to send it, chat. He's sending it. He's sending it. They're fighting. They're officially fighting. That is going to help us win this race for sure. We need more of that, and we need to not lose the car ourselves. They're going to be on used hards versus our fresh softs. And I tell you what, the more they fight, Pastor Maldonado's closing into him. So, we're boxing in, yeah, two laps. Um, so, Fabio, I just wanted something that was wireless because my my problem was that I didn't know whether it was like a cable connection or, or whatever was going on with my PC at the time, hence why I like wiped my whole PC and redid windows and stuff. Um, so I went for Asher because I saw that it was wireless for Simicube, which I didn't even realize was a thing. And oh my God, I cannot praise it highly enough. Like it might look pretty plain on camera, but it feels amazing to drive with. Like genuinely, the I don't know what it is about the feedback through the wheel, but it, I love it. Um, but also, uh, yeah, it, there's no cable. It's just, it's just simple, man. It's, it's so simple. And, and now I know this works. So this will be my backup wheel. If anything happens again in the future, I'll be like, right, screw it. Chuck this wheel in and I can race, you know. Which, barring it being another issue with my PC, should mean that I can just race no matter what. Oh, they're still gaining even while they're fighting. Jesus. I haven't changed my uh, brake bias yet. Bro, can you sh please show me my tire work. Okay, we've just hit 25, so now we really should start losing pace, but they're still fighting, I think. Oh, I can feel the understep. 
PC will be fine. No more issues as Beatsa. I hope so, mate. I hope so. There is an upgrade on the horizon. Um, but I don't know if I told you, Beatsa, but I use Picture and Picture for Create Series for the first ever time, mate. Genuinely, ever, since I've raced in Create Series since, since day one. And it all works perfectly. That was on Saturday. So whatever we did with the upgrade to Windows 11 and all that, it obviously worked an absolute miracle. Mercus P7 Alpine, behind that is P8 from when you box. Copy. Right. Guys, we boxed this lap. We boxed this lap. Lando Norris is ahead of us happen, by the way. That's a surprise. I get the feeling they're going to keep fighting till the end. Because Verstappen's on better tyres. No reason why he should be behind. Maldonado's closing in as well, 1.8. And he's got no one around him. Oh, God, I've just locked up massively. That's a big mistake. That's a good 3 4 tenths gone. And we need to get in and change these tyres now. I'm struggling. Big difference. Change it down to 55 brake bias. And let's get ready to cook on these softs. We should be absolutely frying these lap times. This is where the fun starts. There, we lost a lot of time this lap. We lost about six tenths. too early but that's fine right here we go here we go we're not gonna be ahead of the McLaren surely not no 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 please be ahead of the Ferrari though that'd be amazing ahead of the Ferrari's amazing ahead of the Ferrari's amazing chat come on oh my god it's close oh it's so close oh my god it's so close we need to dump everything. He's going to be quick. He's going to get DRS as well. And we've got cold tyres into turn three. Good exit. Oh, yes. That's the one, chat. That is the one. Oh, that was so huge. Okay. Amazing time to box. Now we can just extract the pace of these tyres. Once they're warmed up, this will be a slow lap. And then we'll get on to Verstappen and Lando at the front. have to get used to the grip on these tyres now because they're just going to be so good. Going to be brave into every corner. Those are some Miranda's gloves. Yeah, I got, I got custom GB68 ones. Oh, I love them, actually. They feel really good, mate. Have you got some as well? Double sector three. Let's go. Oh, God. Don't take turn one like that. Oh, we've got DRS now. Just look at the time gain into turn three. It's crazy. Good job. Nice overtake. Okay, well, we gave ourselves... We started at the back to give ourselves a challenge. We gave ourselves an extra pit stop, which is slower for the challenge. Can we get Verstappen by the end of the race? That's a slow, not if we keep doing sector two like that. That's not ideal. He actually will get DRS from us here, but he should be gone into turn one. Uh, maybe not, he'll get DRS again. That's for the threes. All right, 3.3 then to Paso Maldonado. And where's Verstappen? They're still fighting up ahead. Four seconds, basically, to the leader, chat. Okay, gaps of the car ahead is 3.7 seconds. If we don't win this race, we've done something wrong. Any tips for staying close to cars without rear of them or being too careful and falling for far behind, especially at the beginning of the race? Um, uh, I mean, part of that is just experience. A lot of that is just experience and, and uh, 
and the more you drive wheel to wheel or close with other drivers, the more you understand the behaviors of those around you. But especially if you do like open lobbies, for example, you you watch anyone, you watch Yano, whoever it is, you, sometimes you just can't avoid it. If there's a mix in abilities, if someone's like a lot slower or maybe even faster than you, then uh, it can happen quite easily. I would personally say uh, driving with no racing line helps with that because you have a better understanding of your own braking points and a better understanding of, um, yeah, just, just, just the way the car behaves and, and the, way, the way you take the corner. And I feel like that makes you a little bit more aware rather than like staring at a racing line heading into a corner and rear-ending someone. Let off throttle a little bit before braking zone and just expect them to slam the brakes. Yep, that'll obviously, I mean, it'll lose your time, but yeah, for sure, if you want to avoid rear-ending them, that's a good, good tip. Yeah, um, Alex, I got two pairs, by the way. I just said because you said they, they look mint. Um, I like the pink ones. I've got the I've got the grey faded ones into white as well. They look really nice. Honestly, I recommend them. They're not cheap, but I think I got like two pairs for something like ninety pounds, including shipping from Canada. Which, I, considering what they are and other stuff I've seen around, is honestly not bad at all. That's what we want to hear. No DRS at the end of this straight, but we're getting it all back into turn three. We'll save our battery now so we can make moves. Got to start racing smart now since we're near the end of the race. Never mind, we'll go for the move straight away. Look at the launch we get off turn three. I'm going to have to use it now, otherwise our teammate's going to sail straight past easily. He will anyway, but we should be close enough to get our nose into the corner and get down the inside with the extra grip. Sorry, Pastor, we're having that one. Right, Lando up next. <laughs> the pace difference through the corners, man. This is definitely where we wanted to be. Oh god, Jesus! See, this is exactly what you were just saying. Then we know we know he's going to go slower. We know he's going to not carry as much speed into the corner. So trying to be smart and get a better exit like that, get a better launch. Allow us to get past easier. Use the DRS. Use the battery. And close up on for Sappen. There we go. So no DRS, but Lando Norris will not challenge us at all. I do hope that he won't get DRS to Verstappen and Pasta can get on the podium. If we can get another double Lotus podium, that'd be awesome. But Verstappen is our championship rival. He's done well in this race. He bottled the last one. He's done well in this one. Uh, J-I-L-V as well. Appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Join us towards the end of our Lotus career race. I'm going to close the DRS here. Go for that mega exit. I'm even going to close the DRS here, make sure he doesn't get a chance on the exit of turn three. Let's go for that exit. Oh, a little slide actually. Loads of battery. DRS open as well. He's still got the straight line speed. This shows you how low their wings are. It's nuts. I think that's why they lose so much performance. They're just so much slower through the corners. It's a bit of an eye-opener for me, this, because I realise now I'm probably running way too high wings for four-player when I was doing that. And look at the fuel, man. It's still gaining. It's crazy. Should have underfueled by a lap. The Sapman's going to stay within DRS um, into turn three, but after that, we should be gone, chat. The race is as good as done at this point. On better tyres, soft tyres with four laps to go. 
And uh, even with a little challenge we set ourselves, the two challenges, it's still not going to be enough for Max Verstappen and 110 AI. It's the state of the car that we've got. And also, the pace of the AI in general. Just shows you. Right, get out of the way, please. Thank you. One point seven to Verstappen, and crucially, past Maldonado, who's got through Lando Norris, guys. Lando is in past his DRS. And I'm hoping he can hold on to that. Oh my God! Actually, guys, should we try and get a one-two? Should we try and get a one-two, guys? Verstappen cannot overtake us. Should, should we back up Verstappen into Pasta? Do you think that'll work or not? We could try it. Is it worth the one-two? The AI is a one-ten. I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking. Back for Sappen up into into Pasta and then and give him DRS and then pull away. Because then, look, Pasta might not overtake Max, but at least he'll be protected from Lando. Gaps closing, gaps closing. He'll get DRS now, he will be quicker. Gaps, but I'll hold him up. Did I get DRS? No, he did, damn it. Oh, no, that's fine, that's fine, we held him up loads. Oh my god, the bat mark is on, back, on max. <laughs> you gonna send it to turn three? Okay. He's passed up. Come on, Pasta, close in. He's just about holding off Lando. Close in, back market, get out of the way. There he is. Let's go, Pasta. One, two, one, two. Right, can we pull away in this final lap? We've only got one lap to go, so it's unlikely, but. Why have I balls this up? Is Max going to get me? It's... I've given him a chance. I've got max battery push so for this final lap. So is he. Come on, Pasta. Get him. Get him, Pasta. Come on, send it. He's going for it. Come on. Oh, my God. Come on. Get that move down, I beg. I've gone deep on purpose, just in case. No, Pasta. What are you doing? Come on, get him back. Get him back. Get him back. Oh, he's not got DRS. Well, he does have... Uh, sorry, Max has DRS. No, Pasta! You should have sent it on the inside. Bruh! We tried, chat. We tried. I mean, we still secured him a P3, so Lando didn't get him back. That's, that's at least a W. It's a double Lotus podium again. Yeah, it's close between Pasta and uh, Lando. We tried to play games with Max. It didn't work. Jake, thank you so much for the 25-month resub. You're absolute legend, mate. Thank you so much, dude. We take the P1. We take the fastest lap. Not a surprise. Um, clearly, we need to go back to the drawing board and have a look at what AI games we can come up with. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> the setup we've got now with 110 is uh, is is clearly... Um, we're, a, we're a little bit OP. I think it's safe to say. Uh, Chinsey, thanks for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Yeah, Jake, thanks so much for the 25, dude. I hope you're doing well, mate. Um, yeah, sorry. It dropped literally in, in, the, in the closer lap, so we're, we're focus mode. We did get Pastor on the, uh, on the podium then, chat. But we didn't, um, we didn't get him the P2. Nearly back-to-back one, too. Nearly. 
Well, after an incredible day of racing, tell you what, the highlights are actually be pretty good on this, right? I don't know, my webcam might be slightly in the way, but we started at the back of the grid, right? Gave ourselves an engine penalty for this. Um, gave ourselves an engine penalty, started last, and we were P1 by lap 11. <laughs> this was a crazy send. Look at this. And we've got sim damage, sim damage and somehow didn't break our front end plate there. I think I just about stamped the brakes and kind of used his side pod to slow down. And then this was a mega send. This was fine. No problem at all. This was late on the brakes. But we absolutely sent it into here. Gained about five positions and made no contact. This was nicely done. All right, so yeah, look, look at that. We, we gained 10 positions in two corners. Up into uh, P12. Bottas came around the outside here. But once this was done, we were charging. Yeah, yeah, this, this, is, this is my wheel and my, and my hands indeed. The wheel will look better, um, but my current one's being repaired, like I said. Speaking of the gloves, by the way, they're already starting to turn quite uh, quite black from the from the rubber on the wheel. It's gonna be nice and dirty in no time. So what we hear? Oh, this is lap ten, and we're P two. <laughs> so yeah, we went hunting down for Sappen, P one in no time. Uh, do we? Oh, so we boxed here. We boxed and came out in P16, I think. Pretty sure it's 16. Oh, okay. So this is... What move was this? It's gone right at the end of lap 35. The Harleys have always been so scuffed. Oh, this is, uh, this is fighting with Max for the win. Shoving him onto the grass there as well. This is where I'm just going slow on purpose, parking it on the apex and just trying to slow him up. I uh, slow him down for, for Pasta behind. Yuki nearly goes into the back of him, but look at that. Pasta sails through. And in the end, we managed to, to hold on for a podium. Hey, that was all right. That was all right, to be fair. I feel like that, that final race was a lot more entertaining than the first one where we were just driving like 20 seconds clear or something. That was good. That was good. Um, guys, our community event is uh, the signups are live. Apparently, Razan was saying there's been 35 signups. So, yeah, I can't do anything about that. But <laughs> if you want to get your name on the list and you want to grab a seat, we'll be racing at Austria. 50% race, short qualifying with you guys this Friday. And, of course, we've got Create Series on the Saturday as well. So, hope to see you guys there for that. Um, that should be really good. That, like I said, that's on Friday. So we'll do, I'll do the SRC race. I'll do the like creators versus esports kind of vibe. Um, as I start the stream, that'll be more like my warm up race. And then we'll do the usual 25% races. And then we'll do the community event. So Friday should be a banger as always. I'm not live until then. So um, have a good rest of your week. Uh, oh, sorry, by the way. Um, Vlad, I missed you on YouTube. You said, how do you feel about the car launches so far? I've, I missed the McLaren one. So guys were talking about McLaren livery. I think I've missed that. Um, but I saw the. Uh, I saw the I saw the Stake F1 livery today, which I personally liked. I gave it a seven out of ten, um, much to chat's uh, yeah anger. It looks like more people dislike it than like it. I thought it was alright. Um, then what else? The Williams was really nice. I, I, Williams is my favourite so far, um, and then the Haas uh, is kind of meh. That's my least favourite. So uh, I need to I need to revisit and look at the McLaren one because I I clearly missed that. Uh, but yeah, let's find someone to raid. Let's find someone to raid. Who is live at the moment? Goose, by the way. Dario, thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. Legends. Um, like I said, I'll be back on Friday for some races with you guys. Do some community races and have some fun with it. That's a standard Gillen take. No, it's not because Gillen came in and said he hated it. He literally said he hates it. Uh, we really got the other day. I'm going to go for someone different, especially as it's Monday. So that I'm not normally live tonight and there are... Maybe a few different faces. And once again, thank you to all the raids as well so far. If there does happen to be anyone still in stream with it. Uh, Matt, Fabio, Vince, whoever you are. We had, we had a load of legends coming in tonight, so I appreciate it, guys. Um, uh, hold up. Idro. Idro's doing My Team Lotus. I just ended his stream. No. <laughs> There's no way this guy's doing a Lotus Mighty. I On the thumbnail, it looks like he's using the same livery. That's actually mad. What are the chances of that? My guy's doing a Lotus Mighty at the exact same time. Brilliant. And we're ending at the same time. 
Weird. <laughs> uh, Dan as well. Appreciate the follow. Welcome in. Legend. Uh, we'll go with B-Roy. B is B-Roy doing... Oh, he's doing a league race. Oh, he's just started as well. Perfect. Guys, we'll go watch, watch uh, B-Roy do a league race. B-Roy is a driver in Creator Series F2. Um, and he will keep you guys entertained in the meantime. I just typed his name wrong. That would be good if I typed it right. Uh, B-Roy, there we go. Yeah, guys, as always, I'll catch you guys on Discord in the meantime. Make sure you've signed up for it. All you've got to do is go to the sign-up channel on Discord, put your name on the list, that easy. Whether you're on YouTube, uh, uh, Twitch, Kick, Twitter, wherever you are right now, um, uh, all you've got to do is head over to the Discord server. Link will be like on the channel. Uh, you'll be able to find it really easily. Um, and uh, yeah, get your name on the list. It'd be, it'd be awesome to race with you guys as always. Even if you don't get into the community event on Friday, you can join us in the 25s uh, beforehand. So we'll have some fun with it. I'll see you guys then. Uh, have I got a raid message? I can't even do a raid message because I'll reset my stream deck. So just say um, GB69 raid or whatever you want. Say GB sucks or yeah, be creative with it.